Howdy, and welcome to the Lunch Table, podcast filled with a bunch of D's. That's right, delinquents. And delicious ideas. Disorderly politics. DUIs. DWIs. DW? Oh, damn! Too many D's on this podcast. DW for Arthur. So let me introduce who's around the table tonight. <laughs> First, the guy who likes to light dumpsters on fire and get away with it. Donnie, I shake, but not for her pleasure. Qualitan! <laughs> you shake and quake? You shake and bake. Oh, do you shake and bake? Do you bake and quake? No, do I, have, I have an air fryer. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm jealous. I almost got that for my cousin's set. Is, is it powder blue? Pretty much every <laughs> air fryer I've seen is powder. No, mine's black. No, no, well, it, it's dark blue, it's black. I burned it like six times. Also around the table, a man who's been here once, during, like, our very early days, and he's back again for some god awful moment. We had to beg. Get on our knees and beg. Someone had to beg. Donald! <laughs> There's no such thing as a bad touch. Tar! Woo! Touch me naughty when I was and this is my way of getting it out. That's <laughs> 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 uh, a logic uncle. <laughs> and also, my right hand man, Mr. Google himself, even though we don't have internet out here. <laughs> how did you figure out how to do that? Drew, I look like a Beatle member had sex with Bigfoot. Watsonizer! You do. You should. I might. No, that's what? That's what? No, that's what? No, get out of here. Get out of here. You missed your spotlight. Beggars are mad. Shop deal five. You pay this. I know German. Yeah. Well, that wasn't English. And also, your host, with the most fringiest TikToks. Ouch. You know what? My 8,000 followers won't believe. How many followers do you have, Tony? 750 <laughs> Well, my... How many? 8,000? 8,000. 7,000 Almost, almost 9,000 are fake. Almost 9... So what? Yeah, well, I have an age limit that's over 18 of you. I follow up on so... Yeah. <laughs> so, maybe you need to change that. Sure, we need to change Carl Jones! I do like baby shark videos. No, it's you. You are a baby shark. You no, target baby. Dude, no, so you a predator. You're a child predator. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a baby you shark. got it wrong. I got a brand. So this, like is this is ice cream. This is white girls outside. Yeah, this okay. is exactly white girls outside. Yeah. I got. A, we'll go introduce you a little bit. I got a van that just plays out like an ice cream truck to get the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for it. Oh, let's get it. Welcome to the lunch table. Like I said, a podcast filled with these. God, you're gonna have eight cops at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, hopefully, one of them I know. <laughs> oh, always say goodbye. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> you're still arrested. <laughs> hey, didn't I hire you to strip that one day? <laughs> <laughs> that would, I, I hope so. I hope that's the police. You mean? I don't know. No, no, you're not get you're not getting married for a while. You don't get those kind of things. What? You don't, you don't get, get police. You don't you don't get the good police officers. Damn not for a while. You gotta find a nice girl. I just and settle down. You get you find a nice girl. You gotta settle down. I gotta settle down. That's a thing. Donnie hasn't settled down. No. Yeah, but DJ has. Donnie's not a role model. Donnie, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> oh, super model. <laughs> so speaking of speaking of you settling down, I guess. Uh, yeah. We hear that there is an awesome story that we have here. Yeah. About Shit. it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so I mean, I, what do you mean? Yeah. So, uh, so Donnie, I know you through my uncle, who everyone we, we've talked about before. DJ. And also yeah. bowling. Yeah. Right? And we've been trying to get you on this podcast for a while. That's why we said we've been begging on our knees pretty, pretty pleased. But when we were at bowling first off you said i had to shoot higher than a 220 to get you on here and i did he did i did, did do oh, way past that. He, yeah he called it he, he tried to call me out and i i beat him but uh <laughs> 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 but you were saying something 
about did he get a two twenty one? Me? Yeah. No, no, I think it was like two forty. I think is what I yeah, shot. Two forty three years. Yeah, two forty three. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Why do you know that? Because it, they matter to me. Because it still sings. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I got the I got to be cemented down permanently somewhere yeah. for an hour. But, but you you told me, because we've been talking about this for a while, and you even said like you've had interest in maybe doing one of your own or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, you said, like, oh, I got this story about my dude's girlfriend or wife or something, and or something about you two were like, dating the same girl at the same time. I don't oh, know. Shit. It, it was like a real awkward thing. Oh, it is. Like you, told me, you told me to bring up now. It's like so. when CJ steals all my girlfriends. <clears throat> That's how many? No, not three. No, two is <laughs> not three. No. Oh, it, the other one wasn't you. So it's still two, but I got three it stolen away from Name friends. Name two. Name the two. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here, regardless of information. No, it was the one. It was the one. And she wasn't your girlfriend. Re- you just... You, she had you friend zoned. You had your dick in her mouth because you were friend zoned. And then the other one. And I saved the first you from one. It. The first one called me, yeah. and I said no, and then called you to tell you about it. Yeah. I didn't steal her. Yes, you did. It's not with my your fault. good looks and charm. I know. You took her right off. Because I'm Monday fucking week. witty. How long was that? Like, dude, like eight, seventh grade. <laughs> I know you still have this jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I got a brown jacket older than this that everyone remembered me wearing. I all, busted. Yeah, my whole school career, same fucking brown jacket. Yeah, but it's busted. That's the way I rock, dude. People yeah, like that, it. That explains a bit. But okay. what about what about you and your funky fucking life? Getting on me because I'm loyal to a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had this for like three years. Dude, no one cares. We care about this girlfriend. So, okay, so... Um, so I'll try and preface it, uh, or abbreviate it, I guess. Yeah. So long story short, back in like okay, 2000... Make, make it long. Oh, dude, the short version is long. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah, okay. good. Get us yeah. So back in like 2006, like right after high school, after I graduated in 06, I moved to Philadelphia to play hockey. Yeah. And uh, when I was living there, I was actually dating this girl... Uh, actually, it was accidental dating because. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, so I was dating this girl, which I actually didn't know I was dating because. You, like, like, so you thought, like, maybe thought she was I, a fuck friend? No, I thought it was like, I thought it was like we were at a party and things happened, and then it was like oh, the player it. that we were like, yeah, and then, then she was like, we're dating, but then I moved away. So oh, Philly's okay. Philly's about like six and a half, seven hours from here where I was where I was living. Yeah. And I found out this girl that graduated ahead of me uh in high school, found out she said she had a crush on me and all this stuff, and I thought she was hot and you yeah. know. So long story we got together, we dated, broke up, dated again. Uh been there. Yeah. And then <laughs> in, in the mix of all this stuff. I introduced a friend of mine to her, and then I left. I moved there, bud. (laughs) Was it him? (laughs) No. (laughs) Actually, (laughs) funny story. (laughs) We we actually didn't like each other. (laughs) We're like best friends now, but at the time, we were like, eh. Um, But so, we, I left again for hockey. I had knee surgery, um, and I left. I went to, over to Worcester, Ohio, and... While I was there, we were talking about getting back together, me and this girl. And we didn't because I was like, um, you know, I'm playing hockey. I, like, let alone that I live four hours away. I'm also going to Canada. Like, like we're traveling everywhere. Yeah. So I didn't. I'm trying to be a hockey player, Mom. Yeah. yeah. Booster so, in Philly? Yeah. That's, I, that's like a 10-hour trip. Well, yeah. I, well, I, got, I, had, I had blown my knee out in Philadelphia, had knee surgery, was off for a year, and then I played in Worcester, Ohio. Damn. Um, but so we, uh, you poor, ba- you poor bastard, to play hockey in Worcester. I know. I know. And then he had big <laughs> the Amish loved me out there. The, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> we like half of our crowd was Amish. And they were all men and I. What do we want? Rob Springer. Yeah. What? They can't like yeah. sports DJ. One of my teammates banged one. No, no, no lie. Banged one. 
I have, I wasn't there when it happened. Dude, all it I matters know, all how I know, thin the bloodline is. High. I mean, I guess you took one? off that, that <laughs> yeah. on her head, I guess. Well, I'm but she, but I guess she prayed before no, and now. Oh, oh shit! Like, 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 like. But, 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 Donnie, would you fuck one? Would I? Mean, yeah. I think I would fuck a man. Yeah, yeah, but I wonder how hairy. Uh, well, who cares? Like, no, that, you would dude, fuck men and actually, I fucked her. Dude, <laughs> so, night. so, so, yeah, men and night. 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 But real quick, I have fucked a girl who was like on natural with armpit hair, and let me tell you, it's not that bad. You don't give a fuck, to be I, honest. I, when you're oh, in, sure. when you're in the heat of the moment, yeah, like, you nah, don't give a fuck. Care. And honestly, it's not like it's like nasty or something. And how often are you in someone's armpit? Just don't be in her armpit. Oh, you don't sniff them. Speaking of that, if <laughs> if, a, if a girl does have a bush, yeah, I'm fine with it. What what what's, what's to make a difference? What like I would still keep going. Regardless of a bush or not. Well, no, dude. I saw this one kid at bowling who never gets any, and he told me he denied a girl once because she had a bush, and he was like, yeah, I also don't get much. And I'm like, that is gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that guy's gay. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, it wouldn't Which surprise fine. me. No problem, but... Yeah, he might be getting proud. That's okay. But yeah, no, no, no. You're not, you're like, I'm proud to get someone. You don't get much. You're like, oh, hold on. <laughs> right, oh, no, get out of here. You fucking freak. I don't think I know any straight guy that would stop because there's a bush. No, I wouldn't. I'll tell you that right now. It would not stop me from any action. There's just a pause. You're just like, oh, damn. Yeah. As long as... Like, I'm going like, to have to fucking floss it. Uh, I'm going right. to uh, <laughs> God, I'm gonna have carpet burn. I don't explain this to the fellas. Uh, That's why I have a beard. I don't. It's already I just there. I can't. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got these bitch cheeks like his bitch knee. You know? <laughs> so, so ten hours away from this girl, you blown out your knee. You were in Wisconsin. Blew my knee. We um, to Canada. Yeah. Has she blown yeah. you yet? Actually, Canada was a big part of it because we were Fuck talking Canada. about getting back together. But this is before iPhones, like right before iPhones. No way. So You're not this old. is um, this is before smartphones, I should say. Oh, okay. So we uh, when you did go you to have Canada, a Motorola razor. No, she did. I did. <laughs> I, she actually had one. No, I, I had I had an old. Samsung flip phone. But literally, yeah, 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 dude, yeah the one that team, team, yeah, team Samsung. Team Samsung. Okay. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. No. Yeah, yeah, you, had, you had one of those little chocolates, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody he, even knows played, what we're talking he about, bro. His, he played his memories on his chocolate with the. You <laughs> would have a razor. <laughs> yeah, you had frosted tips too, didn't you? I had right, frosted blue tips. Silver was that Where's frosted the tip? outsides? No, no. no tips. They all curl back. I know, but he used to frost his. Curl tips. Highlights, bro. It was the 90s. We were doing new things. <laughs> <laughs> new things. So, uh... Ooh, oh, nice. I like that. Oh, we could cut that out for some. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... So, anyway, so I... I was talking about getting back with this girl at the time. Uh, but we had a trip to Canada. To Montreal. To Canada. And back in those days... Well, probably still. I don't know how it works now. But, uh... You can't like use your phone. You're in Canada, like come back. Like like a text is like a dollar fifty, like one text. Damn. Yeah. So I didn't talk it was to like her. International or whatever. Yeah. Well, they used to do like ten cents or five cents. Or yeah, it, but it was crazy. So I didn't talk to her. Like Roman charges. I come back from our trip to uh, Quebec, and and I call my our our friend, um, the other CJ. Okay. Yeah. And I call him. I was like, Hey, did you hear about blah, this person? Yeah, and they're blah, like, blah, and they're blah, like blah, You didn't hear? And I was like, Hear what? And they were like, they're dating each other. And I was like, oh, I like just introduced them. Um, huh. Long story short, he was supposed to, I, I'm going to stop saying that, I say that too many times. <laughs> but um, he was planning on going to the military, so I guess they got engaged so they could stay oh, together geez. if, you know, if they, he went to a base. Yeah. So they got married, moved out of state. I ended up. Finishing, am I still leaning on it? Yeah, I'm yeah. really trying not to. Dude, you're gonna knock the pitcher over, and okay. for a second, it. it's just gonna ruin everything. So, <laughs> we put you over, and, you're yeah, it it and I break everything. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> off. Don't you know this hold on by one thread, and it's on that fucking pitcher? I'm gonna so, stay right here. I'm not so, so, you said that she was married to this dude. Uh, was there at any point during that marriage that you got back with her? Yes. So, um, 
She just seems like someone who jumps into relationships pretty fucking quickly here. She's, um, her moves. Like, like, when you <laughs> enter my... <laughs> her, her, oh, yeah, her, is he yeah. the same way? Mm -hmm. why, why is that, DJ? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you I don't know what I said. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll probably come in a later part of the story. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, I... Uh, things went on. It was like a year. I, I hurt my knee again. Yeah. <laughs> I always hurt my apple juice. Strong <laughs> apple juice. So, um, <laughs> Come straight from the orchard. The rotting apple. <laughs> <laughs> Fermented I don't, apple. I don't know. It's <laughs> apple cider. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and, um, something happened. They were living out of state. Uh, I ended up picking her up and we dated again during their separation divorce. Oh my God. Um, I ended up, hmm, I should say this. Do you like drama? Did you say long story no, no. short? Oh, dude, I told you. Like I told... long story, long story. No, I told you, like, this can be like a five hour story, so I'm trying to condense to like 10, Yeah, basically, okay, so, so <laughs> but, um, short, you dated this girl. Canada and you, you traveling ruined it, right? They give DJ an update. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you came back to the States, right, or whatever, you introduced these two people, the girl that you were dating, somebody else. They automatically got married. Okay, yeah. now we're now now we're, we're here. You're caught up. You're caught up. Now we're here, and he keeps tapping it because why not? She's available, you know, and he's only a man. So, but the story is, is that right. the story is that we broke up again. We didn't talk stuff, personal stuff, things were going on. Yeah. Fast track, I went through some stuff. She I actually knows me, bro. <laughs> She's the only woman that gets me. She's the only one that gets me. <laughs> you don't understand me. Her husband isn't that close with her, man. <laughs> oh, that makes it sound so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> so you were like a DNA strand, and like somebody was always with her. <laughs> yeah, 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 actually. Just sharing seeds. <laughs> yes, actually. So she gets pregnant. Much. No, at that, oh, this damn, point, there's really? no pregnant. No, no, oh, at this damn. point, there was none of that. I was hoping for like a questionable, is that my kid? And we never took a DNA oh, test. I hope so. Oh, no. Let's find out. No. Let's go. Maury, no, Maury, Maury, Maury. I do one of those dances when we're... <laughs> Like, I would do that, like, when I was like, hey, you are not the father. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. I, I'd fucking do Dude, that. I'd be the cameraman to chase that bitch. Like, what the hell? He's doing cartwheels in the back. Um, uh, so, the, so the, <laughs> long story is short. Are you telling Dude, they said take us some time, so I'm going. story? I'm getting, they asked. Yeah, I did. Okay. So, okay. Well, we keep interrupting them. Yeah, because they asked us, maybe that's the right thing to do. No, it's okay. Well, we can edit part of this. Yeah. <laughs> this so, depends how long this goes. We'll have plenty so, of film for um, later. That sounds oh, good. Yeah, I'm will. down with that. Yeah. So, right. so, fast track. Thank you. I moved out of town. I was just trying to be a good friend there for a minute. <laughs> I, 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 was, <laughs> I, was, I was... I did my part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so, on camera. It's <laughs> down you are. You I just keep drifting away from it. <laughs> okay, so, tell me yes, so, so I lived in Colorado for two years. Right. Uh, I came back. When I came back, uh, this guy and me, which we were friends and we were like not friends because obviously that stuff happened, we became friends again. Okay. Okay, following. Yeah. And at the time, he was talking to a girl. Uh, and he was talking to a girl. I was even trying to help him, like, with the whole thing. Oh, my God. I was so trying you're to trying to get his Peter wet somewhere else, so your Peter could go back to that pond. No, I didn't want to go. At that point, I had, the, oh, okay. the, at this point, that person was... You're like, hey, go there. fish at this pond. There's a lot of bass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what ended up happening was finally when my fish. friend and this girl got oh, together... Oh, you do a good fish face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's my high cheekbones. Oh, dude. I'm not even what? joking. Oh, I got high cheekbones, but I'm chubby. Yeah, so when, cheeks, I, when I do it, it's like, I can't even see. You look like Alvin. Alvin? Oh, like the chipmunks? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, got the, I got the singing props go along with it. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah. Real high, real false You should just wear a red hat with an A. It's like a, everybody would know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, ask me. Can you do Mr. Among Me? <laughs> <laughs> Acorn. Oh, 
them in. No, yeah, but it sounds like Alvin. I've been really yeah, with that. Yeah, the Chipmunks doing cover of it. Yeah, it's definitely an Alvin's voice though. I knew where it was going with that. Well, the Chipmunks do a cover of it. Oh, do they? Yeah, they actually even did it in the movie. I oh, maybe that's why I've heard it. Yeah, I'm on, dude. That's how on top of it I was with that. Like that joke was layer on top of layer on top of layer. Yes, like a bean bit. <laughs> <laughs> like a lock, stock, and barrel. So, so you're in Colorado. You're uh, back friends with back. this woman. You're trying to get no, this other dude laid. No, not this friends. Man. Friends with the guy. Oh, you're friends with the guy. Yeah. You're trying to get his pee pee wet. Wait, he was. Uh, where would this time period be? What time period are we in? 2014. About. Okay. What were you doing at this time? There. What were you doing? I was just being a friend. Just just being a friend? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound like that. No, no, was you, that when you were just, in Just learning no. the story. You, you, you go visit, learning you go visit story. him in Colorado. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I visited no, him. No, he did not. No, we weren't friends for a long time. <laughs> You're a bad That's friend. That's another story. But, no, just being a friend, just learning of the story as it happened. As right. it unfolded, I was... You know? Okay, okay. Yeah, the part I was that a he's weekly listener, be. bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was there, I was there when it first aired. Yeah. <laughs> a so, million more of those will be famous. This is my show. This is my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching it. It wasn't. No, bitch. It, no. It, it was a straight soap opera. Um, but, <laughs> no, you did. Yeah. No, you did. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> yeah. Say no. Uh, Why'd you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. yeah so, yeah. We're that girl, family in the movie. The girl. <laughs> <laughs> the girl that he was talking to, he ended up cheating on her and knocking up RX. RX. So and he knocked up your. Both. Shared his his ex wife. After yeah. cheating on this girl, you got him to leave with. This is like a separate yes. part of the story. This, this is like. This was part two. Yeah, okay. part two of like parts of all yeah. six or something. This is like part two. Okay. This was talking about. No. Do you really mean? No, but you're gonna edit that. Yeah. Uh, and this was like someone talking actually... to a certain person. Yeah. Randomly, and just being friends. Yeah. So. Also, when that happened, the two of them did not. You know, the girl was like, "You cheated on me. You did this. Like, you're out. You're done." Yeah. So you got with her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I just mean there was nothing weird there. Like, it no, was no, just, no, that was... like they just happened to be talking. They were friends. And they, I asked... they went their separate ways, and this so they so, did their thing. It was, it was so. Where was okay. this thing? Because you were still in Colorado. Well, at this time I'm back. Okay. It is. I came back in 2014, and this is when. This all happened, and um, so when she was pregnant, you like when she was pregnant, tapping went, it, or did you still? Go? <laughs> no, I, was, I, I have been done tapping it. Yes, yeah. yeah. see, they think it's way more hardcore than it is, dude. <laughs> it does, yeah, yeah, so, you so. see what I'm saying? Like he but, built it up, and uh, now it's just like me and this girl kept yeah. fucking each other. <laughs> <laughs> that only went for a time, but um, <laughs> and then uh, some dude I knew in New York knocked some other girl up. <laughs> well, what is this? Where's so, the original bitch? I don't care about the non-couple. <laughs> Oh, that is the original bitch. Oh, that's what I said. The one that stocked up is the original. I'm that's following. The original. I'm following. Got it. You piece got it. No, I, I got. got it. I said that. I said that originally. You told me no. I said so. That dude knocked her up, and you said no. Yeah, he knocked up the original yeah. bitch, not his new bitch. No, not I, the one that then, the new the bitch new, has nothing to do with. Then it. the new bitch got was tapping that one. New bitch Which, would be the name of chapter two. Okay, so yes. chapter two <laughs> was tapping you. Chapter two was they. They broke up. I got with that girl. Oh, you got with chapter two. Chapter so two you guys didn't just switch a route. Okay. Basically. So you got so, a sloppy seconds. So, well, so the story so far. The story well, yeah, so far. With that girl that. one and girl two. That. Girl <laughs> one, you got with. Then he got with. Then you got with. You then he it. married. And then got with. And then broke up. This sounds like Carl. I like, I then like girl, that girl, two, one, girl two. You, yeah. He got with. Then you got with. Then he went back to girl one. Wait, wait, wait. And we then, then you got girl with girl one. two. Wait, wait. Was out of the picture forever. Yeah, girl you know? one was out of the picture. Girl one was gone. I wasn't, I wasn't girl right. one came in out of nowhere again. Just one second. Do you guys look like twins or something? Who? You and that dude who keeps sharing women. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Dude, you guys must be on the same attractive level. Dude, you guys are like, 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 so far different. The you guys are not even being your cousins shoes, anymore. Buddy. You might as well be your brothers. <laughs> you might as well fuck them. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should just be with him, dude. Please yeah. tell me that Act 4 is like you guys have a three-way. Yeah. Somewhere. Was that? Yeah. 
Seth well, I'm actually. Seth I was on. I was on your team, but now I'm on No, no, not on. Can you set that up? <laughs> We'd like to watch, please. <laughs> no, no, no. So, uh, all right. So, but we're, we're we're different people. We're we're friends. So anyway, I got with the girl too, and we were on and off for a long time. Like actually, been like since pet, like last year and a half or so, like like five six years, and we were on and off. All the stuff we went on vacation together. Did all the stuff. And um, we're not together. We haven't been together for a year and a half or so. In the meanwhile, while that happened, my friend was, he had a baby with girl one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. They got remarried. Oh, shit. Got remarried. Come right before Corona. I don't even know if they divorced or something. I, I, I'm not even sure. I don't even know the lines of like what happened. But... Um, well, they got back. Better, but so they yeah, got back. What's the divorce? Yeah, they his got... dick. <laughs> his dick caused a divorce. I told you, you a bunch of D's on this table. Yeah. You should probably yeah. have most of this out. Yeah. Um, but no, not, this, <laughs> not this part. This is the most important meaty part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm. We're not together. Me and yeah. girl two. Uh, in the meanwhile, when me and gr- girl two broke up, this the last time. I talked with my butt guy, my buddy, yeah. and your guy, and my your guy. guy, my dude. Well, and, and at that same time, girl one, girl one starts texting me saying that I should come around because my boy ha- is not hanging out with, like you know he works, he, he basically works, goes home, sleep, pr- pays the bills, stuff yeah. like that. So I, God, he's just a responsible man. So I, yeah, and and so. She was like, you should come out. You know, you've been a part of my life. She's talking to me. Yeah. He's, you know, you should, we should all be friends. And I was That's like, awkward. and I'm like, okay. This is headed towards that threesome I was talking about. Yeah, well that. Cruz real hoping. That, He's still yeah, holding on now. He's very hoping. That didn't happen. That. We can tell what kind of books he Four. reads. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no, that didn't happen, but. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's sad. I'm just saying. He's Drew all, looked at you and was like, well, she's on the side. No, but uh, that didn't happen. But the thing is, their marriage went... They, they, they got separated again. Again? Yeah. And I... By your dick? Nope, not me. Oh. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. No. Uh, but they got separated again. And then... And I was actually, like, talking them through a lot. So, like, I, I was... Like, he would talk to me. I would talk to him. We'd go back and forth. Yeah. Fast track to the beginning of the year. Didn't hear from him for a couple weeks. Guess he got a new girlfriend. My ex girl number two, and they're back. They're back together again. Girl number two for how many years? Was girl number two to girl number two? Girl number two was about like five years. Yeah, that's a that's a big little chunk. Yeah, Yeah. this girl number two was with you for a while then. I mean, we were on and off. We it sounds like right, guy number one. Have you ever had one that wasn't on and off? Not really. No. What's I'm kind song? of. I mean, I'm kind of a. Well, tough. Drew, you had that. No. Nope. He said no. <laughs> no, I had one for a while, and then it broke, and then we came back. That was just one time. Oh, okay. It wasn't on and off. On and off. The, this whole thing is a weird cycle that has happened with me and this guy. Like, um, so uh, I know that you're not asking for it, but I'm going to give you some advice here. <laughs> okay. Just, just one thing. Let's hear. Have a foursome. Get it out of your system. <laughs> Write it down, and Drew would like to read it. Please. <laughs> read it. <laughs> <laughs> it. He just helped me turn the 4K on my camera on the phone. I think he wants the whole video. <laughs> He's got bigger plans. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't said no. <laughs> I, you know, now that I've already said that whole thing, I don't really remember telling Carl... That this is what I want to talk about on the podcast. <laughs> that's even worse. That's not even worse. You just let it You never actually agree. No, he said it. And I was like, ah, I guess. You know, whatever. But it's not a funny story. It's a tragic story. It's a. It's like a. It's a Maury story. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's a Jerry story. It's not a tragic yeah. comedy. No. It's it's just, no. Yeah. So, it's so a, here's the silver lining. It's here. a dumpster fire. At least fire. you know the kid yeah. is not yours. Oh yeah, that kid's not mine. Yeah. No, definitely not. Because that would add a whole new level of complications. That would. 
And if even worse, <laughs> if there were like two kids. Mm. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. that one? That would be the only thing at the point that this story could like surprise me. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. Come on, he's... <laughs> no, that, that's definitely not it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank God. No, for sure. What is this? I don't know. Oh boy! Oh, man. Dude, I found a monster in the cooler. That yeah, that was fun. That would be an oh, epic we'll Have you had one of those? Oh, dude, these are the best. Oh, they're amazing. The only thing that, I, I, don't do, that, I don't do peach. <laughs> but that's but those monsters don't have no um, peach. No peach. They don't have sugar no peach and stuff. Once. Once. So. Yeah, yeah. They're dude, like zero C- calories. CJ handed me yeah. a thing of peach chewing tobacco one day, and uh, I opened it up. Didn't even look at it. Opened it up. Went nope. Tossed back. I was like, this peach. It is. Huh. Yeah. Like you don't peach. like anything peach. Nothing peach. Because, I mean, like, honestly, like, that monster, it's not... If I ate a peach and took a drink of that, I don't think they're very similar, but... <laughs> Nothing. Oh, Actually, come to think of it, I probably wouldn't like peaches, the actual fruit. Dude, just to let you guys know, that story was so exciting, I had to go touch myself. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Don't worry, he's giving me a video later. Oh, of the foursome? Yeah. Or his foreskin? I'm circumcised. Un- you say uncircumcised? <laughs> <laughs> you skin talking? I, I, I don't know. I, no. No? I, I don't, there's, there's no flap on the end of that. I don't think, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think I was born with a flap over that thing. I don't I mean, like, Your penis was that small. No, the end of it's that big. It's, <laughs> do you is you it a like a popsicle? Or I mean, like, like a, a mushroom? Do you yeah, use, kind of. Kind of like do you use the flap to hold the other penis? <laughs> yeah. Skin docking, that's when you <laughs> Yeah, you touch heads and the one rolls his you... casing so, over yours. Somebody's Ken and somebody's Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's two male ends. Isn't, isn't that like the go- um Ghostbuster thing? You can't cross those two things, right? right like not to dock? There's a whole month about doing that. Wait, wait, there's a docking month? Yeah. No, there's a whole month for gay sex. I don't know. Start a Man, they only have one month. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that's it. And then all the gays lay eggs. <laughs> How do you know which penis will accept the other penis? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't made the penis. They haven't made the penis, and it's saved by Cher. <laughs> yeah. The, the one with more hair is the one that takes over. Right. Yeah. Right. Autom- hair dominance is their species. Yeah. Did you know the song What's Going On isn't Cher? I thought it was Cher. Did you know that? No, oh, I did not. Know. Four Nine Blondes? What's Seven. going on? Yeah, yeah, that one, Four Nine Blondes. You yeah, didn't know I that? I thought that was Cher. Why would he think that's Cher? Dude, he that also, sounds nothing like Cher. He, he, sounds he, like Cher. Thought, he thought Painted Black was sung by. Um, I thought it was the He Doors. thought it was the Doors. No. I was, I was like, no. you, not you even have, the remake. Do you, you know who you does have the remake? About 80. Which one? You have about 80 well, remakes. Right you oh, could have yeah. picked any yeah. 80. Well, maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's still he said that. Right. He, I feel like it was, it was on, like, I thought it was like on one of those uh, old jukeboxes where it flips the thing still, like yeah. when we go to the old bars. And um, I thought it was on one of the door CDs. You said it like we're like 50. <laughs> I know. Or like over 50 when you go no, back. The no, there's, still, the there's still a few of those old school bars that have that old school jukebox. That's all I mean. Not many. Yeah, yeah, they haven't been know. renovated since 1942. Yeah. The pool halls and stuff. Still the ser- ones that like try to keep the nostalgia, they'll put something cool in there. Like they that. still serve yeah, PBR at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> my barber still has PBR. Yeah, I was going to say, our barber still <laughs> PBR. I don't, I, it's not yeah. my favorite. Get with the times, Jared. <laughs> Yeah, damn it. I think we did an episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he goes, I think, Dave. Oh, no, you do go to Jerry, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went to Dave. They're both great. They're both uh, great. But I just. So, one. Yeah. Yeah, you we're not going to discuss this recording. <laughs> no, because one barber might be injured. No. Wait, what? They're, both, they're both good. Well, insulted. No, not, no, no. They're both completely fine. But Dave was busy, and the why I went to Jared and Switch was just. One time, Jared was taking, like, extra time. Yeah. Like, just, like, literally taking the razor and yeah. making sure I was all lined up. And I just liked it that one time, so I started going to Jared. Yeah. yeah I mean, extra I, he went to Jared's. I know. <laughs> you <tried. laughs> yeah. Do you see what kind of painting that is? Where the fuck do you find that painting? So think about it when you break it. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck were you finding a painting like my, that? My backpack will cushion the blow if it falls. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Uh, I, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm doing my that. best. I am 
trying to do this. You're fine. You're fine. I'm just busting your balls. I'm busting your balls just well, like... Well, that would be classic. That would be classic. Donnie status or type of show. Hey, oh, yeah. first time on... Oh, he broke oh, everything. he broke something. He broke stuff. It was a dumpster fire. <laughs> yeah. DJ was a dumpster fire. It was. No, it was. It was. <laughs> what? You confused? No, I was thinking that this was the peach. I just smelled the peach somewhere, I think. No, I don't know. Are you <laughs> allergic to it? Let me smell it. He literally hates it. Why do you hate peach? Do, uh, do talking I about this... Smell? I feel like this. you're a video gamer. You're probably playing Mario. Like, no, I ain't saving that bitch. I I don't like what you're doing. I told you I didn't like it. I, like it. Like Daisy I didn't like the I didn't like the smell. Fuck that taste. Didn't we it. heard? Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> Dude, what are, what do you got against peach, bro? I can't. I can't. <laughs> if there's no peach. He's like, I smell peach in the air. I, I, I can't don't like it. it. <laughs> Actually, set on argument. Eating a peach, it, you. If you can eat one well, usually, wasn't that a reference to you being able to eat good pussy? There's a funny key and peel skit about it. Right, thank you. That, yeah, that's thank not you. what I was fighting like, you about. Practice on a peach. When you, send, a practice. When yeah. you, practice when you send somebody an emoji of oh, a little yeah, girl's yeah. ass, it's a peach. Yeah, that's a What yeah, about a pussy? A a so when he, said, when he said that you she that I don't eat peaches, ice cream. he was yeah. saying, yeah. I, was, I took that as <laughs> I don't eat ass. He's like, oh, you don't eat... What? No, I said you don't know. Now, uh, Drew got it all weird because he didn't understand <laughs> my reference of him not being able to eat a peach, which means not being able to eat pussy. Either way, I don't eat peaches would be like a funny just snapshot to take and be like, this dude's gay. <laughs> 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 right, that's, thank you for uh, getting my joke. Yeah, thank I you. got the joke, but I don't think peach is the ass. I don't think so. No, dude, I'm not saying that. Then why is the emoji for the ass the peach? Is it? Uh, it's like a heart, like, bent over. But what I'm saying, I, I said it because... Because you said the kitty for the other one. You said the kitty for the other one. Yeah, but if there was, like, another emoji, it'd be, like, a traffic sign. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> dude, the airy sign. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm an Aries, too. a bunch of questions. <laughs> you are. Somebody, like, what did she mean? <laughs> I, I, what did she mean? Just go buy her some chocolates, some everywhere. jewelry, question something marks. nice. You'll be fine. Yep. So, DJ, how old do you feel today, dude? Yeah, I feel pretty old. Is it your birthday? I, no, it's not his birthday, but somebody, oh, it's, somebody's birthday. Yeah. It was your son's birthday today. Yeah. Uh, that didn't make me feel old, though. I just feel old. I feel it. When I wake up, when I walk, when well, I bend over to make things, like just <laughs> not feeling. <laughs> like it's slowly creeping. When my kids are running around, and I'm like, I wish I quit running around. Dude, <laughs> dude I, reflect, I reflect on life now, and there's so many times with Elijah and stuff, I realize like he's looking at me, like I, I used to look at my parents talking about boring shit like Lowe's. And there's me like talking about Lowe's to go into shit. And I'm like, oh no! <laughs> like, that, like that progressive commercial. Yeah. He's like, can you imagine how much parking like, right. do we make off of this? <laughs> 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 yeah, like, that's not what I would talk about. We bought light bulbs today and we have like, a fucking huge ass boner for buying light bulbs. We even gave them a boner for buying light bulbs. Light bulbs! <laughs> light bulbs! <laughs> yeah, these light bulbs are so good! <laughs> do you see our light bulbs? Where'd you get them? Lowe's hey, from a discount <laughs> from the card. <laughs> but no, I still feel like I'm 19. <laughs> just, in, just in an older body. Still 19 yeah. in an older body. I sometimes yeah. wonder if my dad felt still 19 in a That's what I wonder. 73 because I did. I used to look like... like yeah. When I was young, you know, I used to look at these older people. And He's you're just 30 right now, right? Yeah. yeah. And I would just assume... 30? 30. Dirty. Like the 30. 30. 30. Yeah. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Not 0-3? No, not zero three. 3 but that's the age I like to... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when DJ started the... Yeah, that's when the dark <laughs> touches happen. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up, Taco. You shut up, Elijah. We play words. What, what'd you say, sis? Carl needs a diaper promise. change? I got it. I promise. <laughs> it was piggyback. Shh, don't tell your mom. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Try this video game. <laughs> like, dude, you know, Tickle you know, time! 
<laughs> you look at them, you always like thought, you know, they they must have acted their age or like felt their age or something. And now that I'm 30, and I'm still feeling like like literally no different than 16. Let's be honest, like mentally. Well, I mean, every maybe year I'm a little bit more mature, but every year you feel like, oh man, I didn't know shit last year. Yeah, you, like you keep getting older, but yeah, but still like, got like this. You feel like you. Like there's you no, won't find there's it. no aha moment. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like aha, but like like that. that's when you get like midlife crisis. I think it's when when that actually hits in. When you're like you're like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> how, old, how old are you? Uh, 33. How old are you? 34. 34. I was expecting you guys to take a little more longer time because when somebody asked me how old I am, I'm like, fuck, how old am I? Oh, dude, I told people oh, I was okay. 33 for like two years, I think. <laughs> when, sure. when does that start happening? Oh, like 30, what, I think. Like, like, you when, 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 when did a year start getting away from you and you just forget how old you are? Having it's, children. Then you have to think. Oh, see, I don't have kids. It was easier yeah. for me because I thought I was always going to be part of the 27 gang. Like, oh, the, okay. Me, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I thought... Start talk about the doors, Morrison. I thought I'd be like twenty seven and done, and I'd be out. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, six years after that. Well, so I remember a little bit better. Okay. Well, that's yeah. you, you were shooting for one. high things. Like yeah, you both, 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 <laughs> both, of you, dude, both of you have lived actually pretty wild lives. DJ, you've been. I've lived a very modest life. I went home after school and did my homework. And then <laughs> I went to school the next day. And <laughs> That's what I do. Like, <laughs> ripped out pages work, of the textbook for something else. <laughs> now I go to work and I go home and I fix my work stuff and I go back to work the next day. That's all I do. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, yeah. It. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. No, I, I mean, I had... Fuck. We all come a long way, dude. Looking at it. Maybe not Drew. Drew's probably the biggest letdown at this table. DJ, true or false? Have you ever, have you ever uh, rolled Here's up with Bible business. papers? No. No, because I wasn't like... <sighs> I feel like, first of all, that'd be a young thing to do. Yeah. Because even if you didn't care about the Bible, it's like... If you still not just, good paper. You paper. would be doing yeah. that just to, like, just to mm. do it. And so I don't me. usually do many things like that, actually. Why would I want, why would I want to put my vitamins with one. ink? You know? It's not like it's the original one. No, you're right. <laughs> it's not like Jesus <laughs> wrote this. But that's what I did. <laughs> well, Jesus didn't like, write, dude. It was written thousands of years after. I guess if you didn't care... Because it was a council of Nicaea. It wasn't even Jesus in the whole thing. Right, whatever. I guess like, if you didn't <laughs> care at right. all, if you were mad yeah. or something, but like, really, like, why would you even want to do that? I don't know. It wouldn't be good. It would, I, you know, know, they just, make rolling it, papers. Well, well, it, seems like, it seems like a coming of age thing. Jail. Did you hear people? When, do when did you actually start getting into most of your shit? Like, 14, dude. 14? 14 is the magic 14? number. Why? What, uh, what happened? Like, you just wanted, like, was it part of being, like, cool like, or something? Or? So you were 10. Actually, yeah, I'd have been 10. To actually, like, if I was to really, like, just look at it from, an, like, an outsider or something, like, analyze yeah. it, it would be, like, just being, it's actually, like, being in school and seeing older kids and thinking they're cool and, like, striving to do some stuff. And right yeah. around 14, like, I feel like I started to get it where I was like, okay, I'm going to fuck somebody. Yeah. I'm going to fucking smoke. I'm going to drink. See, that's around where we were. Yeah. We started drinking at 14. 13, 14. Yeah. I feel like, like for 14, I feel like it was like virginity, weed, and drinking. Like all three. 14 was where I was like, bam. Right. I'm venturing out. Listen, going down and watching local band shows, which aren't a thing anymore. No. Yeah, but like weird. local oh, band yeah. shows and okay. crazy <laughs> dancing and fun. And Sharon just, Fire like, Hall. Sharon, yeah. Around. Fire Hall, the Curtis Street School, all those places. Mm. And, there, and that was just a good, it was a good time. It's a weird time because I feel like it's not like 70s or 80s or whatever. It's like a 90s thing, but it still was just like a little like, just a little tiny period of where there was like local bands at Denny's and stuff just screaming like music. And it only lasted Denny's? like, yeah. I don't remember that. Dude, Denny's would open their shit up. There's a meme on Facebook about there being like local band punk shows at Denny's because they didn't go to Denny's with them they did after. It at they did it at Hermitage. There was Denny's local band is that shows. Why, is that why Denny's closed? No. Stop the punk. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop the punk. <laughs> it was a good time though. It's why not. Like everybody dresses crazy now on TikTok. You look and there's like people that think they're cats and shit. Yeah. But like when I, we were just like our age right you and there. I have very different we were thoughts. just watching people like start to wear like uh He's bondage right. pants and shit like they'd go out thinking they were hardcore yeah. doing hardcore <laughs> dancing screamo 
Like, we were, like, right there, and that was what was going on at local band shows. It was, like, all these people that wanted to start dressing funny. Right. More than goth. They wanted to express they themselves. They wanted to, like, try to be punk, like... like really, I think probably most of that, I think, had to do with anime. Lots of girl pants, yeah. eventually. I think, anime, <laughs> I think anime really brings a lot of that up. How crazy is it, like, well, so mm. you're a couple years younger, but... Yeah. I think the anime is much. that way now, but the music was really the more for the local but band shows was like anime when, wasn't even a big thing. When now. we when I was in high school, DBZ. nowadays DBZ and Dragon Ball Z was oh, like maybe DBZ. Was, yeah. but right. that's like a rich. But that right. was, and they had cat people yeah. and stuff. But no, what do you mean it wasn't mainstream? I mean there wasn't people like big like with cat ears and shit though either. It was like yeah. they were trying to be punk rock, but it was being oh, like, yeah, emo. emo. You, yeah. you were ashamed it, to say it was you watched punk. anime then. Yeah. People no, 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 a lot of the emo girls watched anime and then got their hairstyle choices, the big poofy hairstyles, were from the anime. That is really what I mean, though. I wasn't thinking so much anime. It was what, like, emo was becoming a yeah. thing. Yeah, That's and a lot of that Jinko was jeans. Like, no, it's past you. I still know people. I still know people with Jane. Emo was more girl yeah. pants on everybody. Shane Wong, yeah. <laughs> yeah. which is funny because I wear tight pants, so like I don't know. I'm bringing it back into soft. I mean, yeah. These are you're tight. Yeah, I mean, I me and you both wear pretty tight pants, but but when we were in high school, it wasn't even about wearing tight pants. It was the guys were purposely wearing girl pants. It was like a uh, kid, kid, kid I went to school with, like, like, like yeah, literally, literally like to make fun of. Uh, no, it was like, like to be emo. No, and like to be rebellious. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I mean. To make fun of the status quo. Oh, the status quo. They yeah, want the us to wear man jeans. Fuck them. <laughs> Buy lady jeans. <laughs> Your I, that will fuck the system. <laughs> <laughs> on, on. I went. I went shopping. With, I went to the mall. <laughs> 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 Well, that stopped the cramping. I went. I went to. Um, I went to the mall. So when I was in high school, I, I played hockey. But I played hockey in Pittsburgh or Cleveland. So like, I didn't go to school with anybody that I played hockey with. So my friends in school were all those scene kids, all yeah. the band dudes, and that's who I hung out with. Um, going to North Sharon Fire Hall and watching stuff. But I went shopping with. And I'm. I'm still friends with you know, a couple of these guys. But we all went out to uh, Eastwood Mall in Niles, and we all went shopping. And this was like during that buy girl jeans yeah. thing. <laughs> right. And it was no, but it was so weird. We're like, hey, we're gonna go shopping. I'm looking for movies. Hey, girl jeans. I'm looking for like movies because back in the day, if you guys remember, Eastwood Mall used to have that movie store. Yeah, FYE. And, and, and yeah, well, it, but that was like it was called something else before. Yeah, FYE. it was before because FYE tried to sell CDs first. Yeah. Like yeah. music, then it turned into like that movie section, which slowly turned into a porn section. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> but I like went... hardcore porn, I used to go in there and just young, just look at the, the you know, the front, <laughs> and then you look at the back, and you're like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like the first thing that was so weird because uh, I didn't dress, I didn't wear girl jeans in high school. Right. I didn't do that. But I went with my buddies, and they went into whatever department store that was there then. But they went in, and they were in the girl jeans section. They were like, and it was the weirdest thing, because they're You're like trying to act so... You're herd of dudes. Herd of dudes, you know, got most of my boys got like their dyed black hair with like the bangs yeah. and stuff, and and all fine. But they were like, are you a size 8 or are you a size 10? What, what, what are you? <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm, okay. Right, okay. Too much. <laughs> I was like, that's... A, that's you, yeah. Was there any uh, clothes... Apparel that you wear wore back in the day that you look on now and was like, oh, oh yeah. fuck. What was what was oh, your biggest one? Was Dude, your biggest one? I had a shit ton of American Eagle. Yeah, <laughs> I had so much fucking American Eagle. That was ridiculous because I remember going up to my mom and saying, "Hey, I don't feel cool. All the kids are wearing American Eagle, <laughs> and I wanted some American Eagle." So I had like a pair of pants, a pair of jeans. Yeah, I had a couple polos or whatever. Let me tell you my worst outfit ever, coming from. A very stylish man. Now. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Dude, you would have fucking hated this. <laughs> I'll start with the feet and work my way up to the top. Okay. Okay. Let's hear your shoe game. My feet. Yeah. I had a pair of black shoes that had the Mexico logo on the side of it. The Mexican okay. flat. Different. Wow. Okay, but you like, like the food. Because he likes the food. No, no, no. They were, they were all flat. They were like indoor soccer shoes. Okay. So, okay. so like Pumas. But, no. Okay, they were like off brand. They were, they were like off brand. Short, short they were from converses. Walmart. Okay, okay. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I had white tube socks. 
Okay, how tall? Nice. Knees? Uh, halfway to knee. Stripes, okay. no stripes. Any height is cool. I don't remember. <laughs> I want to say stripe. I had a couple that had stripes, like a red stripe. Right, right. Okay, okay, yeah. feeling it. Okay, yeah. that's weird already. Make sure uh, it, It's leaned up to tight shorts. <laughs> right. Well, real, dude, he's still... Real high real shorts. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cargo uh, shorts. Moving up, obviously there were shorts. Plaid. They were plaid. Yes. Oh yes. They, yes. they were they were tan, brown, and powder blue. Okay. Checker checker pattern. The go with a green and red flag. Yeah, and black shoes. <laughs> uh, on, on, onto my onto my shirt. Yeah. On, onto my shirt uh, was dark blue and orange polo. What? Oh, would strike that oh, way. Oh, strike the flag. With, the with, oh. with, with a red undershirt underneath. Oh, Bright what? red. Why? Why did you go? I pick every that's, flashing color. It's like, it's, it's, at some point, that's bad parenting. Right. I mean, like, at some point, parents are like, no. Oh, <laughs> my, my mom commented on it like two years later. She's like, yeah, I shouldn't have let you go to school like this. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, Ma. They made fun of me now. Oh, dude, I got ridiculed. It was bad. Dude, so, like, my worst look ever. Was uh, I used to have I forget what they called them. They oh, were like the old school skateboard shoes. The old school uh, uh, skateboard shoes. Etnies, is that what they were called? And they oh, would always have like DC, 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 and then some <laughs> weird painted on graphic like a skull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Right. And then like tied on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, and like yeah. red ass laces or some shit. You or, know? or you could put different designs in the laces. Right. Like, yeah. The laces were like tags. key of the shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, remember, yeah. remember you, had, you had to take the end of the laces and put them through yeah. so you yeah. tied them under the tongue. Right. Yep. Or you could do you like actually, you could do the stitch pattern with them. I got that done right now. Nice. Still living in today. He has Jordans have LeBron. Funny, but uh, Jordan Egan, better. Too. Egan, too. Okay, what, 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 are those shacks? So, like, I would wear those, then it would come up to my shorts, <laughs> and for some reason, snorted <laughs> like a fucking pig. Yeah, I did. You I remind did. me of a nerdy woman. <laughs> Ouch. That, that's the most hurt I've been. You were going to break down to his core. I did. Yeah. <laughs> but like, dude. So call like, the girl again. Call the girl again. Call the girl again. <laughs> you woman. Hey, but, quiet. Your feelings are showing. <laughs> 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 You're embarrassing us on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I will not have it. Stand we're trying to run. <laughs> Be my Jada. We're trying to run a podcast. <laughs> I am the but like, dude, I would wear like plaid shorts, you know, it didn't matter what kind, because my shoes were all black with a little bit of red, so like, usually as long as it didn't clash with the red, I'd wear some shorts. And then like, some band t-shirt, some grunge band t-shirt, always, Ooh. usually Nirvana, mm -hmm. you know, ass chain, something like that, because I was a rebel and I had to listen to my grunge, and then I, I had hair that was down past my shoulders. It's funny I have a that photo was, of that. Yeah. It's funny because that was like after the emo thing. That's like when emo was fading out, and it was still cool to be like more into like rock still. Well, dude, it but was like, skater punk. Because you were like yeah. wearing like that when I would have been wearing like a Take because, Back Sunday shirt. Yeah, because you know like I mean? because like a plaid yeah. plaid shorts with that shirt was like uh, straight up like Blink One Eighty Two like skater style. Yeah, you know oh, even though I didn't even every, every dude had skater. You know a lot of shorts. basketball. Yeah, yeah basketball really shorts. shorts too. Yeah. but like that was like skater style, and I didn't even skate. Well, I was actually I always thought it was cool that you liked more like grungy stuff because like. I liked so I liked well, like, Zach the punk was the, the emo. And Zach really went like far into emo. And then well, went, no, Zach went into American Zach like went into prep. so much emo yeah. music though that mm -hmm. I think that made you like rock more. By the way, you like, I was like, in like, American Eagle for like oh, yeah. six months. So <laughs> what, what's up with the well DJ? DJ I just DJ, said I like that look. When what you was your worst look. look though? Your worst look. Looking back on it, if you well, your worst look. The wor well, the one I feel. The one I feel, yeah, right. Oh, I think no, the frosted no, tips. No, 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 no. no, I would actually say. Oh, like, and I had frosted tips at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Just had the chance. Even though I still He's like. He's a kid who really wanted to be cool. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he really frosted wanted tips. to taste the cool nut. I took Latin. <laughs> That's not even a language that can be spoken, it just names things. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, the like, devil, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but he's an astrophysicist. How is he supposed that's to true, name that's a star? Why, that's if why he doesn't know Latin. take Latin and stuff too. Yeah. So I am curious what your outfit was. Well, I would actually have to say it's kind of a mix of like the most corniest outfit I have. Even I though I still it, love the music. Because to me, was a lot of his necklaces. <laughs> yeah, we had, like, we had the big silver ball necklaces. That was like my <laughs> oh, shit. But I didn't or always... the tooth. You had the shark tooth. But that was more like seventh and eighth grade stuff. Did, did you work a did you wear a Puka Shell necklace? Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. Yes, I have a Puka Shell necklace. Yes, he did. Oh, I, 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 I had the metal ball one. Of the ones. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I had one of those. I, I had the metal ball ones when I went to the skating rink, but I never really had like the Puka Dude, I swear to God. Okay, we used to watch like Surfing Ninja and all these ninja movies, right? I swear he got his style from Surfing Surf Ninja, ninja Beach people. Great. Yeah, from the Beach people. Is that what people. it was called? Surf Ninja? Yeah. Surf yeah. Ninja. Yeah. I rewatched it again like years ago. It's still, yeah. still funny. Right. Which one was worse? That one or Meet the Deedles? Which is also one of our movie reviews. Meet the Deedles is a very good movie. Have you seen Meet the Deedles? That's the last show I was on. We talked about Meet the Deedles. That is true. Yeah. You didn't do the movie review, you did it after. Yeah, yeah, that is true. But that was I, I will say was the look was like, out, dude, that was like we're on takeout nine. That DJ, was takeout. It's DJ. chains on your pocket. DJ, listen. So we do takeouts once a month, which is our movie reviews. Yeah. You were on takeout this. two. Next next one you could be on. But uh we have a cool way of picking the movies now too. We'll 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 talk about it after this. Yeah. Uh so you were on takeout two. It's once a month we do takeouts. We're on takeout nine. We nine. finished nine. We're nine. gonna be on. 10. We're gonna be on ten. So you said I don't remember you doing these rules earlier. That's uh, how early uh, you were uh, on, dude. <laughs> like you were on like the I first remember, episode. But I also remember when I first came on, you had already said you've been asking me forever. You've been doing it for a while. Yeah, we, we, been, we hit it. We hit a year four or five uh, last. Two months ago? Yeah, two months ago. Well, We've been doing it for yeah. about 14 months. Yeah, yeah because yeah, right around my yeah. birthday is when we started. And then my birthday just happened. A new thing, you mean, then? What? No, just podcasting. Like a new podcast? Time? No, we've been podcasting no, for we've 14 We've been podcasting? I swear, like, you, I thought you would already ask me, or not even just ask me, but it had been a while, and then I no, finally came I on brought it. I brought it up that I was starting one. Uh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, Which was always a cool idea. Anyways, where's 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 Sue? Worst, worst uh, look ever. Looking back, what are you embarrassed of when you look back? So like wearing like high top chucks, long shorts with a chain on my wallet, maybe my keys dangling on the other side with a mountain climber hook, like I was had fucking anything to do with climbing mountains. I still do it. It's just like it was funny. I was pretty much like the emo kid without the girl pants. We were right before every dude was wearing girl pants. <laughs> and my worst look ever was when I was in like fourth or fifth grade, maybe fifth or sixth. I ran out of jeans that I wore. I still wore overalls that I had as a younger person and put a shirt over them. So technically my jeans were actually a pair of overalls under my sweater. So, so <laughs> I lied on my worst outfit. Oh, uh, did you? Mm -hmm. Did you? But okay, before you get into that, what about American Evil? Oh, my only mer His uh, new haircut look, makes him look like he should wear it. No, more. no. Yeah, well, well, we have not the hair. same haircut. My you should wear hair as well. We have <laughs> the same haircut. It just fits How differently. How old were you when, you when you went to that American mm -hmm. Eagle thing? Oh, uh, I was in ninth well, grade. Well, and Drew's 29. Okay. So he's a young guy. Well, my whole, the whole point of it is... Um, 13, 14? They don't go, and I, I'm actually not trying to like say this as like a joke or like offensive thing, but you know they only go up to like a certain size yes. on stuff. When I came back from Colorado, because I, when for a certain point I had gained, which probably a little more than I am now because I'm like fat now. Yeah, but you, you fluctuate. I, I go up and down. Yeah, I went and, up. and Drew has too. Drew, yeah. Drew wore pants skinnier than me at one point. But I went when I got back from Colorado, which. There was a reason for it, but I had like lost a bunch of weight, and I went to the Shenango Valley Mall at American Eagle, yeah. and I tried on some jeans and stuff, and I like scared the sales girl. And I was like, "I fit American Eagle." <laughs> <laughs> do, do you honestly want to know the reason why I only wore American Eagle for about six months? Yeah. Because about that six month, I put on a little weight, and I walked into American Eagle to buy another thing, and the sales clerk lady comes up to me and goes. 
Um, sir, what? I'm sorry. You have to order your clothes online now. Drew, Drew, let me... They, I didn't know they made them. Yeah. Let, let me you, ask you. were over a 36 waist or something. They don't even make the stuff. Yeah. Let me ask you. They really don't go over 36. No, no. When you lost all, all that weight for wrestling. Yeah. What was the first clothes you bought or wore for yourself? Like, did you go back to American Eagle just to prove that you could put no. them on? Or? No, I did not. Uh, uh, because Drew, I, I didn't, Drew was a wrestler. I, I didn't buy anything. Because of wrestling, I was given a lot of shirts. Different tournaments or different things. State champions, whatever. Um, I mean, that was that was what I wore. Yeah. And then just the other stuff that I had. but. Okay. Yeah, and it, it never really what, changed. What, I'm just curious, when was this? Because as long as I've Senior known year. you, and I'm like not happy with myself, of course, but as long as I've known you, you've always been a bigger guy. When? Senior year. Yeah? Yeah. How much do you weigh right now? Probably like 220. I was just a little heavier than you. But you're you're taller, too, because you, yeah, you always just look like a but big I drew, dude. But I drew at 220. Fit in smaller pants than me. Yeah, well, well, yeah. I, I was a little history. bigger at that time. Well, even my wrong, but I was right a little now. bigger at that time, but still... To give me an idea, like, yeah. like his, yeah. he's just Dude, a big like my, my, I used to steal his underwear. Yeah. I, he he wore Calvin Klein's. So I mean, well, I, I feel like just, like just got a pair for my birthday. Just his got a whole story pack. sounds like it just took a turn. <laughs> but if, no, he was he would he would come over and he would spend a weekend or a night or whatever, and then he would leave his fucking well, shit. DJ, here. DJ, I don't know if you remember. So I wash it. Yeah, I don't know underwear. if you ever remember my life at home. But I was never home, and I'm still never home. Yeah. I do remember you were always staying on friends and stuff. Always. I would be at Jared's for a week, or Drew's at a week, yeah. or like, usually between both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Once their parents, one parent got, a, like, okay, he stayed well, in his life. I, I go through the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if both of them got that point, I'd go home for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, you would you would help out while you were there. Yeah. Things needed moved, yeah. or... I was Should I still do? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of look at it like this, uh, just from looking. I at went to your dad's funeral and I purposely spoke because people yeah. were like being shy about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I feel like um, when like your brother would always be playing games and stuff, and you played games. Don't get me wrong, we all played video games. Yeah. But like you played games, but it was like I felt like I always went out and did shit. Maybe I wasn't supposed to, but I always went out and did shit, and I played a lot of games. And it was like your brother really played games. You really went out and hung out and yeah. did shit. You so, were always on the move and going. So to a I never. So we talked about this and stuff like that at the bar for a little bit. But I never believed I played that many video games. So I told you I was. <laughs> I was telling you about my gamer score, oh, and yeah. I didn't get to the end of it. So I was telling you that my gamer score. Drew had to tell me my gamer score is ridiculously high, and I'm like, oh, that's okay. I yeah. thought that was from trying new games, though. But it, I complete them all. Be, but yeah, he he does play. His I complete them all. His gamer okay. score is probably about double mine. I feel mine. like if you play Just Madden like, for four weeks, no. that doesn't help your gamer score. No, it doesn't. Does it? No. Okay. No. So okay. listen, my yeah. gamer score is so high, and I complete most of the games that I play. And usually, I only play them once on expert. Okay. It's not like I log back into games because I don't have that focus except for football. Yeah. Like I don't care to do that with any well, football. Yeah, is, yeah, football is your skate three for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But Drew, Drew was like, "Hey, dude, just to let you know, if me and your brother, so you just said Zach played a lot of video games, yeah. he plays a lot of video games, added our gamer score together, we don't even equal yours." There was one point where we were like, playing Halo, maybe two or three months ago, where there were. Six equal people. yours. We were six people playing. Yeah, equal and yours. And your, your brother yeah. wasn't a part of this one, to be fair. Uh, all five of us did not beat CJ. Does no, that mean you're... Together. Like, what do you do, though? Do you download all the indie games on Game Pass? How are you getting all these books? No, just when I play a game, I I don't know what it is. But, like, one, I, can, I will not do a main quest before side quests. And somehow I always... I like that. I, I like that. That's somehow, like a fucking somehow, Skyrim thing. Somehow, <laughs> you know? somehow I always get the achievements without trying. So if it's like, hey, you had to kill this guy with the yeah. jump punch, somehow I jump punch yeah. him. I don't know how. Ten of these before <laughs> yeah. you died. Right, somehow like, yeah, I, I get it. It'll just pop up and go achievement. It's not even like I look it's, at the it's achievements. It's out of my element. <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, that's cool, but I'm, I'm surprised because I feel like because I have Game Pass on Xbox... Yeah. And I, like, try to play some indie games. Like, I've played some Nautica and stuff. It's actually really cool. Things like that, I feel, is how you have to get those points. I'm not even sure how you have to get those points. So the fact that you have so many, 
is like, what the fuck were you doing? I don't even know. I don't even, like, Drew just... I feel like even if you were like, I beat this game perfectly, did everything, it's still not going to give you the gamer points that it would if you played all kinds of games. Right. So how are you doing? Have you ever beaten a game 100% all achievements? I don't know about all achievements. Xbox achievements are crazy. There's so many. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, so happy you, we you beat completed the division. one. Yeah. yeah, I was like, so we, we did it. In game it. achievements, like just like achievements for the game, is one Mass thing. Mass Effect was ninety something. Like just achievements a for a like game is one yeah. thing. If there was like an old school game and it's like you can do all these achievements, yeah, I've done that many times. If there's a game now that's like Xbox has a thousand achievements for the game, no, I have not ever completed something like that. I've only done one, and that was Oblivion. That was a good game. That was a good game, though. Oblivion might have been where I came from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Such a good game. So what I was Donnie? Time. You said you you needed to pick a different outfit for which outfit. Oh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> All right. So um, I am not a. Uh, I don't like country music. Yeah. Okay. But you wore a cowboy hat. Oh wait. Oh, oh, so oh boots and all. I'm ready for it. Ready? No, no, you have no, no idea. I wore cowboy boots for a little bit. Daisy Dukes, long wig. We're thinking. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Never mind, yeah. so for one year in third grade, I was a country fan, and then and then. <laughs> That's very for that one year. the entirety of third grade. <laughs> <laughs> third grade. Was why? It. Why third grade? I, what happened? Fourth, fourth grade, I became punk. No, no, that was it. Fourth, fifth grade, I had girl jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> So, oh, um, before that, I was New Kids on the Block. Right. I was a diehard New Kids on the Block. From, I bet you were. From, oh, dude, from kindergarten, <laughs> kindergarten to second grade. Dude, I actually used to, they, uh, I think your parents did too, do like, like kid model things, whatever. Like oh, like at the mall? Yeah, yeah, DJ did a bunch. Yeah, he got yeah. sucked into a bunch of. My family I got, got sucked into in. a bunch of that. I yeah. got, I got in one. Our and aunt did stuff would, like that, and, and I had to do a bunch of those little like walkway <laughs> show things. And, and yeah, I won lookalikes with my mother. That was embarrassing. That was we were always wearing like JC Penney um, clothes and stuff. And no, so I did. So it, I did a uh, sing a um, karaoke to a new New Kids on the Block song. Can't imagine how bad that was. I was like. Six years old. Yeah, and no one in the crowd probably knew what that was. Probably, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But then I got in. Like, I, bet you I was. I was all the other singers yeah. and their grandmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, He's so, no, but then awesome. I was in country <laughs> music. So I was in country music, like in the third. It's definitely the third grade. I I know the year, and um, but not. <laughs> it wasn't just. It wasn't. Memory. It wasn't just country music. My third grade, I was like, I'm going to be the country star. No, no, That's what I'm going to do. My third grade year, 9-11 happened. <laughs> that is true. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a big difference. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> dude. For dude what, our, my third grade, when uh, was, let's, let's put it Bill Clinton was getting his dick sucked. Let's put it this way. <laughs> I was but, like, because that's the president <laughs> that makes it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why DJ doesn't <laughs> believe there's a bad touch. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I get this guy. <laughs> he was like, I couldn't right. it. It's I mean, called the oral office. <laughs> the oral office. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Third, oh, wow. third grade cowboy. We're coming back. Uh, yeah, so, so I feel like third... everybody secretly was like, all right, this dude's kind of a real dude. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he did it like hell, bro. <laughs> third grade cowboy. We're coming third back. Third grade cowboy. So... It wasn't just the music. That sounds like a good it wasn't just the music. I became now this is, before, <laughs> this is before I discovered Clint Eastwood, but I was a uh, diehard John Wayne fan. Nice. And on top of that, my grandmother oh, on my dad's side, yeah, her her maiden name was Wayne. Yeah. Howdy, pilgrim. She lied yeah. to me. <laughs> she lied to me at being a little kid and told me that she was related to John Wayne, which his actual name is that John. That bitch. His, yeah, his actual name was John Morrison, so it wasn't even. Right. It wasn't even. It wasn't Wayne. even close. Yeah. But, right. So she I sucked thought, his dick once or something. <laughs> so I thought she also went to school with Al Bundy. My oh, sure kid. she did. She actually did. She got a lot of but, stories, don't she, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Al Bundy. Oh, do you know Michael Jackson? He touched me too. <laughs> Who's Al Bundy? <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> you actually make that train, right? No, Wait, no you that's mean weird. Al Bundy? You mean Ed O'Neill? Ed O'Neill. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. No, the whole thing. So the cowboy thing, thing was, I thought I. Yeah, you thought, Ted Bundy. I thought Ted Bundy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm like, you were way too 
interested about Ed O'Neill. I was like, no, no, he's more than that. <laughs> No. Do you remember Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker? Yeah. Oh, you babysat me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and he was the. Like, <laughs> no, um, but the whole cowboy thing was I was in John Wayne movies and then I was. I liked country music for yeah. a year. Yeah. I went to school in a tucked in plaid button down shirt, a cowboy hat that they made me take off when I came in, and I wore cowboy boots and I actually bought. I My parents got me these. Fake spurs, which they made me take off again too. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, sorry, God. I got you fake spurs. I, I have two questions. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> you and Drew. <laughs> Why did it be so? <laughs> two, two questions. <laughs> Did you have a pair of assless chaps? And why didn't my parents get these spurs? <laughs> they didn't have them. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a child? They, they, they did not make husky assless chaps <laughs> in the third grade. <laughs> and, and last, which I think the time frame will probably work here. Uh, have you ever masturbated to Toy Story? <laughs> <laughs> because you know he just has an hard day for us. In fourth grade, were you a space ranger? <laughs> <laughs> to infinity and beyond. All right, all right. No, actually, how I got out of the whole entire thing was funny because that my buddy James, that was one of the girl jeans guys yeah. later on, yeah. fucked your other girl. <laughs> this is a girl three. <laughs> that is there? Fuck. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. But That's I got, I got, I got, I got it. Is, is, is there a girl? girl? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. But how I got out of country music was I got into his dad's truck when they, we were going to the movies to go see Star Wars, Phantom Menace. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. oh okay. good one. Go and see, see, uh, okay. see the Phantom Menace. Yeah. 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 Go I, and see the movie. Yeah. I and, remember that movie. And um, Black Sabbath came out. Oh, catch that door for us. Ah, Drew, you want to go fix that? Yeah. Oh, Jared. Jared or Jared? DJ just broke our set. <laughs> Did he break a set? It was just this. No, it just goes back. No, um, it's just here for sound, really. But yeah, dude, I heard Black Sabbath War Pigs. Oh yeah. Stay, changed my life. So, dude, you know what's funny? You you got a Black Sabbath CD. It changed your life. When I really got into rock and shit. I remember, there's not too many times my grandmother and I went out, DJ's mom, Ooh. went out, and, you know. Uh, but I remember the one day we went to Pittsburgh, and we went to this restaurant. Oh, nice. Give me a water drip. But uh, we went to well, Pittsburgh. We guess the We went to Pittsburgh. <laughs> we went to this place where you got, like, a bunch of frozen food, and they would cook it in front of you. Like, uh, like with sticks. Hibachi? Would that be hibachi with the round, like, grills yeah. where they would, like, do it with the sticks? Mm -hmm. But, like, you went up in buffet style and they would cook. Oh, you Mongolian barbecue type Mongolian deal. Barbecue. Like that. That's what yeah. Like, that type deal. And at the point, at that point, above it, like, wherever it was, above it was a CD place where, a music place where they sold CDs and stuff. And I remember going in, and we're looking for CDs, and I don't know what even took me to rock. I guess their album covers, their colors, or something I just really enjoyed. And I picked out uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Crazy, the, the whichever album had Crazy Train. I, I even forget. Wizard of name. Oz. Wizard of Oz. So, oh, that. nice. <laughs> I played. I, I, as if I said it at the same time, like I know. Right. I did know. But uh, <laughs> I, I played that so much, fucking Crazy Train, that it doesn't work on a CD anymore. Like, I, <laughs> I fucking ruined the song out of the CD. Because I, I love that song so fucking much. <laughs> and that, like, got me on the whole thing. I mean, uh, eventually, why I love Nirvana is because uh, Lounge Act. And that's what made me want to play bass. Because at the beginning of Lounge Act, is that boom, doom, 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 And I was like, what the fuck <laughs> instrument is that? Whatever fucking instrument that is, I love. And there's a bass. Um... You know, it's funny, is that, so that, that friend, my buddy James, that got me, his dad got me on to rock, and that's where yeah. I went on, and we became, at, at, from 
and that's how I knew the third grade thing because from third grade to like seventh grade we were inseparable we were like brothers yeah and um I used to hang out his house all the time like I still I still see him and stuff um and they got me into rock yeah. well come seventh grade he got into rap and I didn't know nothing about rap at the uh -huh. time so I thought it was it wasn't the music but my buddy went from us wearing like we were Wayne's World fans, like you know we the dude like like we would we would draw like or draw and write like a script for Wayne's World three, nice. where, 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 where we were like the kids of Wayne right. and Earth, right. and um, but then it switched and he became just for this like short span from like seventh to like ninth grade or something he became this monster rap fan and all of a sudden like Eminem us, like bleached his hair. Yeah, well, actually, I had them. Oh! But, <laughs> oh, I've never seen that picture. But, but really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You with bleached hair? Yeah, I had bleached hair. I've never seen you with bleached hair. Oh, man. I've seen like your hockey picture. It's impressive. Um, no, but and so he, but what threw me off, it wasn't the music, because I, I love rap. Yeah. I love awesome. But what threw me off is that my buddy went from, like, we used to watch, like, The Undertaker and Kane oh, wrestling yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the trampoline. WWE, that, yeah, that yeah. was me all day, yeah. On the trampoline, I'd tombstone him. Oh, amen, amen. Everything. I went through tables, hit each other chairs, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. WWE, so, though, is that after WCW and WWF? Yeah. So, well, not after WWE. Not at, it was weird. Because at some point, WWF got sued because of the worldwide... Or whatever. The World Wildlife. Yeah, World Wildlife Wild something. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. A fund or whatever. Just they for sued. The same name? Yeah. They yeah. for having the same initials because they already trademarked yeah. that. It was it was because yeah. of the attitude there where yeah. so like kind of Yeah, out there. Yeah, and out really there. really made them look bad because they were doing stuff like guns on TV. Okay. So they sued them and WWE or WWF decided to switch to E for Entertainment instead of Federation. So and that was they, still technically the, the WWF. Yeah, it's all the same, it's all yeah, the same thing. Yeah. And technically, like, I actually I actually really liked your slogan when they did that, because their slogan was, get the F out. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I was like, I actually, like, I like that. Yeah. yeah. They're like, WWE, get the F out. <laughs> and I was like, I like that slogan. I'm just thinking, you guys and I had a very different childhood, apparently. What? Like, I tutored people and listened to Christina Aguilera. <laughs> that is true. I remember you talking about, like, you wanting a Christina Aguilera CD. Yeah. Well, I had Britney Spears. Different. Britney Spears was... Oh, uh, I can't I can't lie. I had that. Dude, I feel, like <laughs> I feel like everybody had Britney Spears CD. That... I don't... I think it was for the book in the front Dude, of the CD. it was your number one selling <laughs> CD <laughs> for the fucking reason. So, so my brother, for my birthday, I don't know how he got it, I don't know where he got it, he got me a video, VHS, of Britney Spears' music videos. And there was like five of them on there on VHS or whatever. I feel bad for that video, the, 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 one, <laughs> the one... The one that had the biggest thing on me was... That me. videotape could tell stories. <laughs> oh my gosh. The things they would have to say. I, like you said, you wore out the CD. I wore out Baby One More Time or whatever. It was. Yeah. I wore out the cover of the CD case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it started sticking together for some so, reason. So, so I, didn't, I didn't lie to you when I told you my likes when I very first met you earlier today. It's because of that. <laughs> Britney Spears was like my first celebrity crush. I DJ, DJ. She was. When did you get into boy bands? Was that a thing? I'm actually curious. I'm actually curious about that. Too. Because, I, like, I thought because like, for a while when I was younger, he yeah. would listen to every boy band. Like, I, that's why I we thinking, liked him. That's why you I said Christina Aguilera, I was thinking, like, dude, I used to. Dude, first I had NSYNC too. I mean, my cousin, who ended up listening to heavier yeah, metal than everybody, his first CD, I'll never forget it, was Alanis Morissette, man. <laughs> that's what different And <laughs> Sugar Ray. But, like, I, I don't know. I like fourth boy grade, bands, I think different things. In fourth grade, when I was watching TRL all the time, and, like,. It was like Backstreet Boys and Insane. Yeah. Well, like I guess oh, that, you grew up like God's in the degrees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You grew up, I guess, because like even though I was born in '92 and I have some of the '90s, and Drew has a little bit of the '90s. I guess in a sense we also grew up more into two thousand, like just the thousands. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mix yeah. '90s music with two thousand music all the time, and I think that really your years are the. Ones after the years you were born. Like, yeah, I was born yeah. in the 80, 87. So you were right. So like 90s were right. my We shit. were born in 90s. People so born in 90s, like early 2000s were their Because shit. early 2000s is yeah. when like 
like looking back when I remember the most. Not that I don't remember some of yeah. these stuff, and a lot of it's because we had your leftovers. Well, yeah. So like, it's, it's like, like, like the like Tomagashi impression shit. of you at the time. Well, you, yeah. you yeah. guys, I will say, your generation had so much stuff still because you like rode bikes outside. And <laughs> somebody <laughs> was we didn't, yeah, we we didn't have, have the internet, internet and, and dial up. But I was listening to some podcast or something the other day where they were talking about um, how like the TV guy. They were excited to find out what was going to be on TV. You caught like the end of that. You guys yeah. caught like yeah. the end of yeah. The TV. We, we watched what you had to watch. Like, you know, were pissed off when, a, they, so when they bought the last one at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, yeah. You went to the movie store and you saw the thing and you're like, oh yes, and there was nothing behind it. And you're like, oh fuck, Dude, somebody got this one. I remember Next looking. Week. I remember looking up the TV guide on my dial up. Yeah, and it taking like Dude, forty five minutes. I think it's the sound of you dial up the whole is show in, before yeah. the next one. The sound of dial up is engraved in my head. Yeah. Man. <laughs> the basketball buzzer out of nowhere, just forever. <laughs> I, want, I, want to, I want to know if you guys had something similar to this, because we had dial up internet and didn't have yeah. access to it. I would save. Photos. Yeah. So, you, the, the photos. Wait. The photos. Oh, photos oh, of you? No. The photos. Oh. Gotcha. Got Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like before yeah. LimeWire yeah. and yeah. Napster yeah. and all that. Yeah. Dude, uh, well, that's where. But yeah. I would I would save these photos, and I had a little oh, yeah. folder that I you would. You had a little folder. And, and then, and then <laughs> Everybody I, got a folder, bro. And then I made, <laughs> and then I made a collage. <laughs> I made a collage of, like... 30 different explicit <laughs> photos. And you printed it out, taped it together, so you can have them all at once. And, 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 then, I, and then I printed them out. Yeah, you did. With, with a horrible printer, all the lines are cursed. <laughs> You know, you got the purple and pink going through. It's so. better than being all the computer in the computer spot. <laughs> but, like, our, my, my printer started to run out of ink. <laughs> Pretty color. So it was really good up the top. Your family's like, we never use color. <laughs> yeah, somebody does. But no, I, I folded it up, yeah. folded it up again, and put it under I my know. mattress. Yeah. In between the box spring and the mattress. Yeah. My mom found that, like, two years <laughs> later. You were talking about this. embarrassing. My uncle fucking walked in on me one time trying to beat it on his family computer. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. I was at work two I days know, ago. Two days ago. And I didn't story. give you, like, they left. And I was like, okay, it's cool. And I was like, and he walked back and I was like, man. Yeah, literally, two days ago at work, and they don't know you, you know? Like, and I'm sucks. like, listen, the funniest fucking shit happened because we were talking about something like that. Like, one time... Everybody went to the football game. My nephew didn't go to the football game. I opened the door, <laughs> and this dude was half running to the kitchen as the door sound happened. Was like, why, did you, why did you lock the door? <laughs> dude, when you got your dick in your hand, you don't know what to do. I was well, like, why were you talking about the kitchen? <laughs> No, 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 because the family computer was downstairs no, in no, the living room. Dude, remember the apartment? <laughs> apartment. Were, the, were the blinds closed? The apartment, yeah, yeah. 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 It, was a, it was a setup. It was a family computer, but he was defiling the family computer while everybody was watching the football game. <laughs> first, off, first off, my brother already did that with his phone. Oh, I'm sure he was like, sure he had done that a million times right. already, but... <laughs> CJ wanted his time. <laughs> and it's the only time I can get the computer, man. <laughs> oh. I don't want to watch football. Oh, oh it's too funny. <laughs> Running to the kitchen, I'm like, oh, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna, not gonna mention that. I'm just gonna say, hey, and it's not for this. I'll see you later, bud. <laughs> what was that look for, dude? He gave me a look like, oh, I got a story about beating off. Uh, no, I was, it wasn't, 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 wasn't about beating off. This was like the most, one of the most embarrassing moments, which it, this actually leads to, I'm glad that my dad caught me like having sex. <laughs> dude, this um, is actually why I got a weird fetish <laughs> of always video timing my uncle when I have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I told you to stop sending me like, Look at me, DJ! Yeah. Please so, stop sending you this. You called me the one time. I did call you the one time. <laughs> and how come you call me DJ now? I'm oh, sorry. How come you call me DJ <laughs> now, but every time you send me DJ, you call me Uncle DJ? No, no, I don't he, get it. He made this sh- noise. Oh, he just I, I was yelling. No, 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 no. He no, called no. me, he goes, yeah. shh. 
Listen. <laughs> like, literally, I was tapping her, like, doggy style back in my college days. Oh, you're being like, serious. Yeah. No, I was serious. I called him. I was like, shh. And I put it on speaker and put it right behind. <laughs> right on her back. Who fucking does She's that? like, what's that? I'm like, nothing. Don't worry about it. This all hurt. Oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. And then they shared, an, and then they shared an intimate moment. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Drew was doing no all that. That's reason. <laughs> <laughs> was he doing? De- <laughs> what was that? Growing up, experiment. <laughs> You'll never get another <laughs> chance unless you're married. <laughs> but what was it? What was that story, bud? Okay, your, your embarrassing so, story? No, this is this is epic. Uh, so my dad thought I was gay for a little while. My grandpa thought that when I started cutting hair. Um, like he <laughs> really did. When I because like there was no place to become a, a barber, and so like yeah. Cosmetologists, whatever, still cut hair. But I had to do makeup and stuff. And I remember my mom going, well, your grandpa asked me if you were gay. So, like, the next time I visit him, I, I-, I told grandpa, you'll love this story. I still feel like he would say it as a joke. But Maybe, but I told grandpa this. He was dead serious. I told grandpa this. I was like, grandpa, it was real weird. And he's like, what? I was like, you know, I never had this feeling before. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I was all good, but then... The second my foot hit the salon floor, I just had this huge hankering to suck some cock. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> what you told me? Yeah. I was like, I just, like, as soon as it touched Grandpa, I was like, oh, I just need cock in my mouth. <laughs> probably made him uncomfortable and laugh hysterically, too. He did. <laughs> probably didn't see that coming. He did. <laughs> so, um, by the way, though, real quick. Your dad still thinks you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> actually, me and um, girl, I told him it's okay. He's got to give. Actually, guy. actually, me and girl one. This is how my dad yeah. knows. Well, there's a few things. But we actually broke my bed in my parents' house, and it fell apart. And you broke his heart. Been there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. But this story. In a like, chair. So... In another chair. <laughs> <laughs> a couch. <laughs> no, so this was chair. like um, desk. Shit, I was like 15 Actually, or 16. Buy something, right? <laughs> <laughs> buy something. No, no. His, don't just bring his chair, his other chair. Don't bring everything. Buy you, something that's big. Why are you in chairs all the time? Why is it big? He's a blobber. A 55 gallon drum? Because, why is it so because this is Drew here? sitting. And he's like, oh, I don't know why that didn't take the whole this I don't know why that didn't take it. <laughs> why did this rod go up my asshole? I thought I could jump into it. <laughs> Three folding tables. So, okay. Okay. I still think you're gay. Go. No, 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 this, this is a terrific story. So, your brother does too. Do you, this is John. <laughs> I'm wishing. So, you remember John? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so John Fishner. was. Remember, <clears throat> That's not a name. That's a, uh, That's a, name. a nickname. Okay. Fishner. But uh, my, he was like friends of mine from like kindergarten to like high school. Right. And he was, he had went to family planning and got, like, you know, they give you free condoms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't get STDs, kids. And he came up to my, he came to my house, and I remember it, because I was playing Resident Evil on fucking, like, PlayStation 1, and, um, or 2, whatever it was, I don't know. But we were playing games, and he fucking, <laughs> 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 is that what it was? was, it yeah, was okay. yeah. So. Is that the one with so, the two dudes kissing? <laughs> No, so so, <laughs> no, it's the skin docking so, one. He, came, <laughs> he thought it was so funny that they gave him so many condoms. Because they literally would, if you ever been to Family Planning, they give you like that white yeah. paper yeah. bag and they fill it with fucking yeah. condoms. So, you made so water much, balloons. Pretty much. No, but, Marty, but John. We that we had health insurance. But John, 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 <laughs> John was fucking with me. So we went down to my kitchen. He put milk in, in, some, in one of the condoms that yeah. he opened up. And then he came in and like, Tried to toss it at me, like making a like joke. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, "Oh, dude, fuck off!" And I threw it. Oh, and goodness. there's a bathroom right next to my my room as a kid. Yeah. And so we're sitting there fucking playing games, like shit goes on. And then I was like, "Dude, I forgot all about it." And so John gets picked up by his parents and goes home, and my dad goes to take like a shit. <laughs> 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 He comes in and he was like. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, 
but clean whatever the fuck that is, clean it up. And, and, I, I'm, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and you know what, dude? Like, in the preface, it's like, there's nothing wrong with being gay. No, there isn't. But, but I think our, gener like, like, like our generation it's loves... It's just not our thing. No, no, listen, listen. I think our, our generation, generation said gay and didn't actually mean gay. We well, well, like, well, right, right. But that's, that's yeah. done. People don't like that no more. But yeah, I know. But yeah. The thing is, like, we like to joke about being gay because our parents... Literally, we're so anti yeah, we're so anti-gay. Yeah, and it has nothing to do with like, like the way we used to act it has nothing to do with us making fun of gay or being gay, but just the reaction that our parents used to have because they were so anti-gay yeah. that God forbid if I held your hand, yeah, oh my God, people in public would freak out, yeah. and we thought it was I funny. Feel bad. As I feel bad for the people that had to go through that where they actually like that it, it made them feel bad because like nobody could know. Right, but I feel like. Our generation, besides the crazies that are, like, overly, like, you have to celebrate it. Other than that, we're all kind of the same. Yeah. yeah. We were all like, it, it's okay if somebody's gay. Doesn't matter. I think you like, it's not a big deal. Well, and I, now they're like, wait, it is a big deal, and we have to talk about it, and it's a big deal now. Right. And, like, before I think we were just... Yeah, actually, actually we're like, like, we don't care if someone's gay. As I said, like, that story, it's like, well, that was... In 2002 yeah. or something, and it's like nowadays, it's like, oh wait, what? Your dad yeah. thought you were disappointed because you're. I was like, oh, nowadays, no, no, if no, that no, would no. happen, your dad would have to go on Facebook. I mean, kind of, my son's gay. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, back then, that's kind of how it was, though. Like yeah, seriously, yeah. they would be disappointed in yeah. you, and like that's terrible. But like, I it's, just it's crazy how much it's changed. That. And I, times it's, change, and it's changed for the good. But they don't want to yeah. admit times change. I love how people act like America is the the worst. Like, oh yeah, we uh, we're pretty sell we're pretty accepting of everybody's stuff. I'd like it's to, hard. It's hard. I'd like to go back one second, uh, and I, I want you guys to promise me that there's going to be no questions here. I just, I just want to tell you a fact. Um, I don't make because because of the family <laughs> computer. This is what reminded me. Uh, semen pulls varnish out of wood. Does it? Are you <laughs> telling that? Is that a statement? That is a true fact. I've been wondering why the fucking deck has been collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. Man. It's just crazy because I am a painter and all the time, like, sometimes I have to use some thinner or something or lacquer thinner to get varnish off of wood. But now that I know that. Yeah. Now you know just yeah. all sample. <laughs> yeah. I, I just <laughs> used the other clear coat. <laughs> the other clear coat. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that that aesthetic. Aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. it's like that aesthetic or some shit that is eating through wood. Hey, no, no questions. My um, <laughs> real side note, which my mom is really perturbed by this, is like, the truth, the truth, whatever. Um, my mom gets those like protein shakes from Sam's Club. Yeah, like the chocolate vanilla. They're you know, well she pours them in a red solo cup. Michael, Miguel, Dude. Lucius, Fabian. <laughs> no, the the. Protein shakes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, but she when she pours them into the red solo cups, the protein shakes eat the fucking plastic away. Ooh, like, like like you sit there for ten minutes and the plastic melts away. Yeah, the, the, red solo the protein shakers. I mean, there's got to be something in that because you pop one of those open after it's been after you make a protein shake like two hours later, it's disgusting. It's got that protein. I, I want to ask awesome. you something. Yeah. Sorry, I'm off topic, yeah. but it's a controversial yeah. thing. But like you just said, we were just talking about that. I do feel like seriously, everybody from like our generation on, my generation on, at least doesn't care if people are gay. Yeah, no, they at least it's don't something. care. I don't think it's. I don't. I don't that's... understand why it's like that's not good enough now. I don't think that's a thing anymore. See, my I think like, do you honestly ever hear the gays ever complaining? No, it's it's never like well, no, it, and I don't mean it like I guess that's rude to say the gays, yeah. but like you never hear. Yeah, you're kind of saying it ironically. Yeah, funny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right but right I mean, yeah. like you never hear that section really complain. If anything, it, it, the the biggest thing yeah. right now is the transgender issues and sports. And, and, and I think it's that swimmer thing is all. It's about. also oh, like yeah. the. I think it's the problem is there's like plenty of gay guys that are just normal. That are just like everybody else. Uh, and then there's yeah. people that are overly activists you know or whatever <clears throat> who are like at parades so, promoting stuff to children and stuff. And that's a different story. Yeah, but that's... That, but there's plenty of people that, that are like... That in itself is a... Like, I don't want to discredit them because like... Well, I actually feel like... Okay. Like, don't take your kids to so, something so, that you think might be overly sexualized. Right, right. But like my point yeah. with that is there's this kid that I knew growing up. And you yeah. know, like... He would do music and stuff and then he was very good at music and you kind of knew that he was... Gay, but he really didn't want to admit it. Yeah. yeah, well, like you know, just a, I, 
don't want to be mean, but he can almost tell by a look. Did he a become bit. a priest? No. <laughs> and it still was but, sketchy, even like as we were going. But, but my point is, that, my point is, as as life went on and he got to be more open, he acted more feminine. Yeah. And in a sense, he almost wanted to be like, "Well, dude, you're a man. Why don't you act like, you know, like us?" But in a sense. Maybe he always was that way. He was always that way, and he acted the other he way. He finally to fit felt in. okay to do it. Now he's finally like feeling okay to actually be himself, yeah. and maybe himself is actually he likes girly stuff. I, I think I know what the the missing key point is comparatively to like your generation yeah. life because ours, uh, we act. You might have done this in third grade. We actively sang "Man, I Feel Like a Woman." By <laughs> <Shelly> <laughs> <Tony>. <laughs> There's something about when you're just drunk and you have your hair brushed out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Then you're singing into the yeah. brush. And like you've already called your friends and you're like, guys, I just want to dance tonight. Dude, and I, they're I, like, they're not available. I, I remember. Like, like, fuck it, I'm So home. do you remember Smash Mouth? Do you remember Smash Mouth? Hell yeah, I remember Smash Mouth. <laughs> right, walking on your son and all you that. You and Zach are the only other people that know the song Van Man. Yeah. Van Man. <laughs> Driving in the, in the road, Van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Da, 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 yeah. da, da, da. I, I remember severely disappointed playing, in this group. Playing house <laughs> Yeah. I but anyways, <laughs> I remember uh, Danny, our neighbor, had that CD. And Zach and I stole it from him. And I remember you wanted to get it back from us and we threw oh, a big fit. Because he's much older than us. Right? Because where we grew up, you remember where we grew up, there's only like three houses by us. So everyone was yeah. kind of a bunch of different ages. We had just, lived in like Amish country. Yeah, literally, yeah. our neighbors were Amish. There was like one street with seven houses on it, and then the other streets were like dirt roads. Amish houses. Dirt they roads were far Amish. Apart. Yeah. yeah. Your Amish neighbor had CDs. <laughs> no. No. That one street was just like seven people that were Amish. They were all. <laughs> they were. They were all related. They were all related, and somebody who was related to them died, and we got that house. So the rest of them uh, were related. Okay. And that was like your family's property. Really, all of them? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Anyways. Uh, I remember Jordan stealing Paul. it, and he tried. He tried. He tried to get it back, right? He yeah. tried to get it back, and I remember all of us, like me and Zach, just breaking down and crying because we were much younger. And his mom got mad that he was bullying us, so he had to give us the CD because she didn't believe it was his. <laughs> Dude, I'll forever remember that treehouse. No, that sick ass oh, treehouse that was like cats. built like it was just just so, naturally built mm -hmm. like old school. So is there is there anything that you like truly regret growing up, like that you wish you never did? Because I know you've done bad stuff, but it's like you're a good yeah. person now, and it brought you well, to thank you. I appreciate it. Place. I'm not always a good person. Well, no one is well, always great, that. but like, you know what I mean? Like you you've come pretty far. Is there anything yeah. that you look back on and go like, oh, I regret? Do you I think actually, Do you think the way you grew up was like, oh, most people experience this? Maybe they just hit us harder with it because I felt that, like when Drew and I got in trouble for our underage. Like, dude, who, who doesn't drink underage? Yeah. Dude, I felt bad for you. I thought I ruined your life with that. Oh, that's... Well, you didn't. You didn't. It was a personal choice. But, you know what I mean? You, you ever regret anything like that? Well, that's... I do kind of feel that way, first of all. Uh, to be, you know, completely blunt. I... Like, pot doesn't get me in trouble. Pot doesn't get me in trouble. Booze does. Yeah. Alcohol is like... Drinking too much is a thing, but I thought like drinking too much was me making dumb mistakes when I was younger. And now drinking too much is like now drinking too much. Like just drinking too often just because like it's a little escape from life. Life gets crazy. But um, I think the one thing I would regret the most is that one time as a kid before drugs or alcohol or anything like that, I remember just like playing by myself all the time. I was very imaginative and like playing with all kinds of stuff. And I always just thought, like, oh, like, funny, I had a good sense of humor or something. I was, like, funny, like, talented, like, you'll just naturally become something. And if you don't try to do things, I, I don't know, I just thought, like, I just kind of always thought, like, you wouldn't have to try that hard, like, if you're funny and stuff, you just, you're eventually someone finds it, you know? <laughs> right. And it's, like, not like that. Like, the next thing you know, you're just living... Living a life, like you found good things and you're happy with those good things. And now those things, those, I say good like it's less than, but those good things mean the world to me. They mean, they mean more than anything, my wife, my family. But like, you just, I don't know. Just think of like you're going to be something. Just think of like life was easier. 
Do you guys watch the Pat McAfee show? I feel yeah. like I feel like doing things that made me lazy, made me not try hard to do, maybe more than I have done. Yeah. That's yeah. what I guess what it is. Yeah. Things that slowed me down. Like, yeah, dude. I, like I, drugs I, and alcohol or something. I agree with that. I mean, my one regret is not joining more stuff when I was okay. in high school. So that's, so theater. Yeah. Theater would be one of my things. Like, I thought theater was not cool or something. And as I got older, I realized, like, man, it took some, it would take, well, I always realized it would take some balls to do something because that's what also why I didn't try it. It was scary. Yeah. To do shit like that. But, like, people that got to experience that, stuff like that. You really get to shine or something. I feel like people don't try stuff because yeah, Sometimes that's your only time to shine like that. Yeah, in school I was scared to try stuff like that. Right. I wish I would have did more. I see why you say that. Yeah. I, th- I think my thing is not being cleanly enough. Like I was the stinky kid in school. Was, yeah, it was yeah. bad. There was a, some kid, some girl actually put a bar of soap in my desk in like fourth grade. Oh, damn. So I got so mad that I threw it against the wall, smashed it into a whole bunch of pieces. But yeah, I was a sneaky kid. And uh, I mean, I kind of even followed through when I had my laptop because I actually just tore apart my lap, my old laptop. And uh, I was undoing it and I get to the fans and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, this stinks. And my brother's like, yeah, that's what you used to smell like. I was like, fuck. I still feel like you kind of got the shit under the stick, though, because like you're a bigger dude. I feel like a lot of, like, young kids probably were, aren't as cleanly as they should be. Yeah. And, like, maybe yeah. you struggle every, more because you're a bigger dude. Maybe. Every guy entering and getting to puberty and getting to stuff like that, like, you're not even aware. I mean, when you're fucking, when you're nine years old. You said you wrestled, too, and stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. So you were, like, doing all kinds of shit all the time. Yeah, when you're nine years yeah. old, yeah, you, don't, so you, then. you don't think twice about that. Honestly, when I met, honestly, it wasn't so smelly that though. Honestly, when I met CJ and we started taking showers together, that's when it helped. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, watched, you watched the place and see. I know we're not supposed to stare yeah. at the camera. I'm <laughs> help me. <laughs> so did Sean Watson. Yes, so did Sean Watson. It's a great segue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what is this? We got massages. Well, hold massages. Hold on, what, 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 what do you regret? Unless that's not your real thing. Uh, was that your thing? Just regretting not doing enough, not doing as much, I mean, trying yeah. more things. Yeah, that's really it. Because like now that I get out and I do stuff, one, you know, it's funny. Uh, sport wise, I do really well in sports. Period. Whatever sport I choose to pick up and do, I usually like. I'm not the best, but I'll place and stuff, and I do well enough to get money. And even bowling, I haven't been back in that long, and I'm like, oh, you're, you've been going steadily, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. But uh, yeah, my triple can still beat you. Oh, yeah. You've been going steadily. Yeah. <laughs> you've been killing the ball right there. No, you've been, well, you went up like what? 20 pens in average? Yeah. 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 Well, he one just, year. It, once upon a time, me, him, and his brother were all like 170 bowlers, and now CJ's like bowling 240s and shit all the time. Yeah. 270s. But, uh, 260s. But, so like, I just regret not trying because like, I remember even when I played backyard football and stuff, I'd always get picked first because I was more athletic. We played basketball. I'd get picked first a lot because I was athletic. And, like, I let the kids who I didn't care for keep me out of those sports. Yeah. And it's like I probably would have earned the respect and learned to like them if I just chose to try. Yeah, I just it. tried to yeah. be around them That's more. what happened to wrestling. Yeah. I ran into that exact same. So, I am kind of surprised because you don't strike me as someone that was very scared of things as a kid. Like me. No, I, I was like a puss about being afraid to get hit in football <laughs> and afraid to get hit by the ball no, in baseball. It wasn't, it wasn't that. It you was, weren't like that. It was more, I let the fact that I didn't like, oh, those kids aren't my favorite, so I just won't join this sport. And it's like, I should have just did something I loved. I think you would have really like, excelled at football had you have tried See, that that's, that's where, see, I, I wanted to play football. Yeah. Very much so. Now, granted, the position I wanted to play wouldn't have been the best. But, uh, like, because I, I, I loved Jerome Bettis, so I yeah. thought... I seen a bigger guy that that ran. I thought I could play running back, obviously. See, I I played midgets, and I did really good at midgets. And I always wanted to be the running back. Always loved the running back position. It's still my favorite back position to watch. I I love watching the good running back. So, like, eventually at the end of midgets, they let me try as running back. And I remember them going, oh, we should have done this all year. And that was, like, the last time I played, and I'm like, yeah, you should have. Yeah, and, like, my spite kept yeah, me from that. Yeah, you're almost, like, mad, and it keeps you from doing it. Right. I, I, wanted, I wanted to play football, but just like what you just said. Yeah. Now, I played hockey, and hockey was, like, my – I started that on my own. That literally came from seeing Mary, Lou, Mary Lemieux 
play. And I was like, dude, this guy's literally a magician on the ice. <clears throat> then I seen the Mighty Ducks. I was like, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, that's so, a good movie. So, so, I, so I started playing hockey on my own. But like... Hockey was never a thing in Sharon. Right, you know? it, it was never a big so, school thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so I got into it, and that's what I said I wanted to be was a pro hockey player. That, that was my thing from age ten to twenty one when I got my last knee injury. Well, not last, but my nail in the coffin knee injury. Um, He's a real drama queen about. But this no, injury. no, but no, but I wanted to play football. But you said about so I went up for football tryouts. Yeah. The one and I there were, about but that. there was some guys. <laughs> there were some guys in the line, like it was like a line of people waiting to like mm-hmm. sign up. And I was like, oh, I really don't like these guys. They're kind of dicks, whatever. And I just opted out of. I just I left and I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, dude, I've been there, man. It's it's a bad feeling when you let others stop you from doing something you you would love. Because if you excel at it, people are gonna accept you anyways. Even yeah, if you don't was, like those people. I mean, like I said, hockey. I found. I didn't like the coach for football, that's why I didn't do football. Well, yeah, but I mean, they only could do. I don't really feel that like vengeful towards like people cut me out. Mine was always me being in my own way. I was a skinny little kid the whole time, and I was like afraid of getting hit and shit. (laughs) Now I'm this big fucking dude, and I'm like, I wish I would have did all that shit or something. Like those little kids don't scare me now. (laughs) <laughs> so, like, <laughs> now, now that I'm 220 and I don't know. Now I'm high school football. Talking about being a big man and not being scared. Donnie, what do you think about, like, Deshaun Watson? You know, I'm a big Browns fan. We, we've read what's been going on about him. The 22 fucking criminal suits against him for his uh, massaging. We talked about this earlier, actually. We talked about this on an earlier podcast. Before he was ever charged. So now he he was charged with 22 cases of like masseuse saying that he did something dirty. It went to two Supreme Courts. They ended up throwing it both out. Throwing all the, the so now legal it's just ones out. now yeah. it's just like on civil court. But but they've just released the tapes and all that. Have you seen like any of the tapes of him in court? Uh, yeah, I see. Well, I seen his statement. There's yeah. a tape of him jizzing on some girl's arm. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a tape of him like I, I answering you said questions. Giselle's it's just oh, like, oh, oh Brady, <laughs> Brady would be bad. Yeah. No, but um, so that's what it's kind of a weird thing. By the way, I I, I made the joke. I was like, dude, I'm a Steelers fan. You're a Browns yeah. fan. Yeah. I and you guys might get which one's game. better? Which team's better? The, the Browns. <sighs> well, well it not, now it don't matter, but back in the day, the Steelers. Yeah, Steelers had been the best, better. Uh, I mean, the Browns had to shit out of the stick for years. Yeah. I was serious because they're so No, 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 no but, <laughs> but I'm saying, I made a joke. I was like, dude, we already had Roethlisberger. Might as well take Deshaun Watson if we had the chance. Right. But, um, and also, <laughs> like, dude, have, have you been. It's just, a step up, do you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, 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 did you guys follow, have you guys followed like from the beginning with Deshaun Watson? Kind of. Really I don't really know okay. much about so, it. We, we did, uh, we did an episode, part of an episode where we talked about some of the charges that he had against him and certain things like that. That's also on one of our earlier episodes yeah. in the newsroom. No, no, let's go take a look at that. He also like left because he thought racism comments and stuff from the Texans. Well, the Texans is a... Yeah. There's, 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 yeah, there's stuff all over the place. Yeah. What, TJ Watt didn't like him? With JJ, well, JJ, J- and he left. He left the Texans, and he left. Was there TJ Watt and JJ Watt? TJ's yeah. with the Steelers. Steelers. JJ went to Arizona, and then they have another brother fullback for the Steelers. Yeah. Is it AJ? No, he's the only one with no J's. J's. No. no, just Derek. Derek. Maybe, maybe like I'm oblivious too, but I just feel like these people aren't like throwing around all kinds of like racist comments all the time, being under the microscope and everybody you say that, around but and watching. The did, did you see? Did you see what happened <laughs> like, with uh, with a? Uh, John Gruden? Gruden, yeah, yeah, John Gruden, yeah, and then like that, and then they came out with all his emails where he's talking about these big lip people and talking about their uh, skin okay. color. And I did all see that. something like that. Yeah, yeah. John Gruden purposely was, getting more white on his football team. And I actually, I get, I actually understand the email thing more. Than, I'm just saying, like people say stuff all the time. I feel like when you're on a football team, like if you say that, your other teammates are gonna be all pissed off that you're saying right. that too. Like I yeah. feel like that doesn't happen. Is I almost feel like him saying like there was some racist stuff would be like. Well, I'm in trouble, so... 
It could have been. Try to use anything. It, it could. It could have been like uh, Miles Garrett when he hit Rudolph with the helmet. Then he's like, "Oh, he called me racist words." And it's like, "Did he? Did he not? Yeah. I don't know." But Dude, I'm a Steelers fan, and I still don't like Mason Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I don't think he went and dropped the N word or something. Like, I don't think he really did that. But still, like, I just just he, just a look at the guy. I'm at, really, at that point where that no. fight happened, everybody unanimously decided that Rudolph. Needed to get his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. he kept he going back. Browns fans, people on ESPN, everybody. <laughs> just because he kept going back. They're like, dude, this dude literally ripped your helmet off while getting pulled back by two big linemen. And you decide to still get in his face? <laughs> oh, dude, like that whole thing. Like, like, people, like every time I hear Tomlin or like the Steelers, or is it like, you know, we have faith in Rudolph. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like dude, I don't care. Bring... Give us Tim Tebow. He beat us in the playoffs in 2011. Just bring here 2012. Get, get him out of retirement. And say, I don't Tebow? like Rudolph. My, my thing is, what do you do as the NFL now? Because, like, there's been so many controversies and things of these football players coming out beating women or, or doing all this. Like, So how, how do you control it? What do you do? How, how do you police oh, you it? Got, the Browns got it perfect. You let women in. No, no, no. The Browns got it absolutely perfect. They got Deshaun Watson. They paid him more than anybody else has ever been paid yeah. at the QB position. But they also knew that they got Kareem Hunt. So now, right. so now, right. Deshaun Watson gets a little, you know, massage and tug from the masseuse, and he don't want her to talk, so Kareem Hunt's going to kick her down the fucking hallway. Right. <laughs> Shut her up. You got her both ends covered. You're good. Right. You're good. They won't speak. <laughs> 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 Browns, went, Browns went from the, the hopeful underdog Super Bowl, let's cheer for them, to, oh my god, I can't believe that these people are in the league. Oh, shit. But, oh, that only lasted for Browns one year, though, because but, like, people didn't believe it for the first two or three years when they kept doing good, and it was like, all right, they're going to do it. This is our year, they yeah, yeah. But they keep doing it. Like, they keep, and they, and, but it's it's impressive how they um, <laughs> always the fall on our face. <laughs> no, no, but up the ante every dude, time. It was dude, like, dude, we got up the ante. We listen, like, we got listen, the team. So, so when Jared first started following the Browns, I told him, as a Browns fan, there's one important thing to know. <laughs> You're going to be let down a lot, bud. No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't that. It's not every that. Every year is going to be our <laughs> year. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. It's they find a way to give you hope first. Yeah, I don't know how it is, but it could be a year where we win zero games and we're playing the Steelers and we're finally up 23 points to zero in, in the half and somehow at the end of we're the game we lose by one point yeah. with no time left. Like, somehow they find a way of giving you the most hope and then taking it away in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Except when we had Tim Couch. That was bad. I feel no, like the Steelers Tim, do Tim that all the time. Tim Couch was... B- b- I feel like the Steelers are always behind, and then they and the second they're quarter, and they're, they're like, like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, we didn't quite have enough time to yeah. do it, because we started but in the Cap- second quarter. Cash was the best out of the 23 before they got yeah, to. Yeah, Baker. Yeah. And Baker did get a raw end, because I think people forget, like, how shitty our quarterbacks were. And this dude led us to a playoff win. And we're no, just, just like, yeah, get he off. just played. I'm a Steelers fan. He just I played agree. this entire season with an arm in a sling, multiple injuries. It's yeah. done with the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, not this year. Not this year. But um, I think my favorite Browns wild card was Johnny Manziel. Really? Yeah. Like, he would go to Vegas in the, <laughs> in the costume. I, I just have a wild card and, anyways. And, and he would be on the freeway, and his girlfriend would try to escape, and he would, like, oh, grab yeah, her like, and throw her back. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's, it's not new. That's what I like about him, too, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like it. Uh, it's uh, it's, 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 it's not the violence. It was just how <laughs> off the wall he was. <laughs> It was like a cartoon when he threw it back in the car, you know? It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, like, but the Browns have, like like I said, they've escalated since they've been now considered a contender. Like, yeah. pre, you know, before the season starts, it was like they got Odell Beckham. And I was like, okay, we're a Super Bowl contender. And they did make playoffs. And the one fucking time I watch a Steelers playoff game, I'm with all Browns fans. <laughs> that was the, the best Steelers. moment of my life. I was, I was in, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I, I was, was so happy. I, I was in a garage. It was a, it was a like a man cave. It was a garage, yeah. but it had like a bar. Yeah, yeah, TV, yeah all set up, all set up. up. Had a wood burner. We're all sitting. 
<laughs> I love his. He's like, tell me how good it was. I'm yeah. gonna lose that. <laughs> Dude, oh, I'm the only provider. I, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was the I was the only Steelers fan. Now, mind you, it was Justin, who's a friend of mine, and a couple of people are friend, and a couple people that actually don't like me. Why I? No, I'm not really sure, but for some reason they don't like me. I can see it. Third grade. The <laughs> great it was dispersed. It's your cowboy it was, <laughs> Your cowboy no, trend. But I remember you. But they're all Browns face. fans and we're watching this and I was just like, I want to go. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, the first second they fucking snap it over. No, the dude. What, the, yeah, the, the over the head and then what was it? Like the third interception. Of that game? Yeah. Next, the, the next time you guys got the ball is interception, pick Sorry. six. I've been six. living here all <laughs> my life and seeing all the Steelers, Browns fans. It's always been a rival. And it's never been anything to worry about. Yeah, and now finally, fan. finally the Browns now are doing something. Yeah. And like I feel like it's finally a rival again. What no matter mean? what they do, even if they do shit the bed. Well, I'll tell you it's what, something man. scarier than it has been I, for 10 years. I don't years. know why we don't keep Baker, because he can't lose to Cincinnati. No matter what, <laughs> he cannot lose to Cincinnati. Well, how many games do you think Deshaun's going to get? Oh, I, I, I bet he'll get eight. Six. Like... I bet it will be nothing for him. As I as I went six with one hand. Yeah, <laughs> six. But like, I bet it will be suspended at least eight games. Yeah, which means like Bursett or like um, a Baker. That's why I think they haven't got rid of Baker. I think they honestly think they're going to start him for most of this year and that's, then ditch him. That's so that's so dirty. Dude, it's so wrong. It's, it's so, wrong. so wrong. Can you imagine if a job wouldn't let you leave? They refuse to let you quit. Then force you to work for another eight months to give you to a worse business. So, so correct me if I'm wrong here. The Browns knew that he was going to be suspended for a certain number of games. They probably didn't know the it, it yeah, exact no, amount. No matter sure. what, because he was involved, they knew he was going to get suspended. Okay, so you wind up paying, I think you said, the highest amount for a quarterback position? Yes, ever. More, but- more than Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay? Yes, yes. way more. And way yes, more. but. There's a but. Way more. There's so a let's but. Let's call this big but. All right, so Deshaun Watson has... Um, 15-year contract? No, no, it's not a, no. Deshaun Watson's agent <laughs> is like the best agent in the NFL. It is... I, I want to Google it. But uh, anyway, so uh, this... Jamie, it, it, it was up. a... <laughs> Joe Rogan. Phil? <laughs> I you find that funny. <laughs> 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 the Jamie Joe Rogan. Oh, that's to be Drew's job, but... <laughs> so, um, actually, so no, I, I guess maybe I'll, I will just Google just while I'm talking. But, um, so, it, it's... The contract is amazing. So, it's ridiculous. It, it's like guaranteed God. $230 yeah. million. Dollars so, you don't have to play at all. It's no, guaranteed. But, but the way they... The way they set it up is that if he would be suspended, it's David. Um, oh God! <laughs> I thought this was all uh, different. Malaga, 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 Malaga. But but he represents a ton of NFL players. But um, they set it up so that it doesn't affect him if he's suspended for part or all of the first year. So he's still. So they structured it so that the Browns still have cap space for this year. Like they still have yeah. room to do it. They guarantee him the money and all that stuff. But even if he'd be suspended for the entire year, it doesn't affect the Browns for the And the way season. the Browns structured oh, okay. the contract too was instead of putting it all in like a salary base like most people do, we put a lot of it in bonuses to give him well, that's what So a lot of it's just a, like as soon as he signed, he got a huge chunk of bonus isn't it different which coming up with account. the bonus and the, the way like i i work with this guy who's yeah. really he knows this shit when it comes to the nfl and everything and all the yeah. rules and he was talking about how they changed something about the bonus stuff is there something going on with the, like the bonus pay i don't know off so the with, top of my head but well, i would i would assume a lot of stuff's changing because they're actually making the cap space a lot bigger this year since more people were actually in the stadium. Yeah, well, they, well, they shrunk it last year, yeah. so every team got inflated this year. It was something so about it. still getting your bonuses or not getting the bonuses, but I think it was about like still getting the bonuses but not getting the contract pay if you can't. But play the whole or thing about the Shawns is that, like, so so basically, it's a five year deal, two hundred thirty million dollars. This year, say he gets suspended. Yes, but the way it's structured. 
against the salary cap, they don't pay him that much this year. Right. Okay. But like either way, no matter what, he's guaranteed two hundred and thirty million dollars. Right. Mm. And because they did a lot through bonus, it saves us our cap hit till later. Mm. So like later on after we use them for three years, then we'll get into cap issues where we can sell a lot of our players and it's all about rebuilding. Just for perspective, what was Baker Mayfield's contract? His contract? Uh, million? No, Ooh. thirty, yeah. roughly. Uh, roughly. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think because they signed they signed his fifth year option. He wanted thirty for this year at least. Thirty a year? Yeah, thir- no, thirty for like four more years. Oh shit. Right? So he wanted like thirty for another four years or whatever contract. And instead of redoing their contract, what they have is if you're a rookie, you get four years on a rookie deal, then they can choose to sign you for one more year. They yeah, have a fifth option, year option is what it's called. Dude, he's getting a raw deal. Yes. Yeah, so they purposely picked him up for his option so more he couldn't than, go anywhere. More than eight times. Yeah, so they picked him they picked him up for his option so he can't go anywhere and he's stuck on our team. So they have the right to trade him or not. So or if we don't want to trade him, him, we can say no. They can cut him, but the team would have to pick up his guaranteed money. Mm-hmm. And he has guaranteed money. And he has guaranteed money. So basically what we did was say, hey, we picked up this other quarterback. We're going to use you until he can play. And then we'll probably trade you to some team that we don't care about. So so what's to stop Baker Mayfield from just throwing everything? Aren't they starting nothing. that other league again too? Nothing besides yeah. he won't get yeah, another XFL. Nothing like besides he won't get picked because right now no team wants to trade for him. So right now his value for other team is zero. No, no team's really interested in him. So his only option is the to play for us. Plus him is what screws right is him. what screws him. So his only option is to play for us those first eight games and kind of rock out oh, to okay. go to another team. Oh, okay. So he can prove like, hey, I am a good enough quarterback to lead somewhere or something. So. Yeah, he so a couple years from now they'll be like, uh, and what is that? A football life? It'll be about Baker Mayfield playing yeah. these next few games. Actually, <laughs> actually, the Steelers said the Steelers said if we ever cut him, they will sign him. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they yeah. they've talked about. Him. Yeah, they said we'll sign him, and then that would be that would be the Browns to oh, get rid of a shit. quarterback, and then, and then Pittsburgh pick him up. And then win four yeah. fucking Super Bowls. Like, yeah, I get stuff all the time, winning yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be the most brown shit ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joe Hayden. <laughs> like, yeah, like Joe Hayden. Uh, <laughs> dude, Miles Garrett would be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I want us to cut Mason Rudolph so bad. <laughs> like, people are talking about, like, you know, we got Trubisky, and which, by the way, I actually am holding out hope. I feel like a lot of other people I talk to that are big Steelers fans are happy about it. And you are such a big fan. And from the very beginning, you told me Trubisky's you didn't think it was the best decision. Trubisky's hot and cold. That's why. But you don't know if it's because of the coaching or him. Because First, the coaching was also bad. The coach was horrible. Mm-hmm. And so at least part of it definitely was the coaching and the organization. Well, of the I will Bears. say it, right away, you were like, ah, uh, no. Well, they got him for pennies on the dollars. So it doesn't matter. If right. he doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. So they're probably if if he falls to the Steelers at twenty or whatever they are in the draft, they're probably going to take Malik Wills or whatever. Uh, I think Malik Wills. Yeah. The name. They're probably going to take him. Let Trubisky. Night cool piece. <laughs> Don't take like seven of those, by the way. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't know you can OD on Todd at all, but that <laughs> <that far. laughs> yeah, Don't you remember Cat Williams? No, no, he it's says, not, like, yeah, you can take Tylenol, but if you take 30 of those motherfuckers, it'll be your last motherfucking <laughs> 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 No, for real. No, I, I did that, I don't know why, but, like, like years ago, I was like, dude, because I... I'm notoriously, I have a hard time going to sleep. Yeah. So I normally either have sleeping pills or, or so whatever. Like you or my... Get like, messed up. Oh, shut up, DJ. And I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I have a hard time going to sleep, and, like, one time... I don't know why I did it, but I took like six Tylenol PMs. Damn. Which, first off, is probably great for your liver and kidneys. But um, no, it turns out you don't go to sleep. And it turns out it just makes you feel horrible. <laughs> like It's not like ODing like you're heroin, like you die. But it was like, I felt like cold shivers for like five hours and never went to sleep. Shit, felt horrible. Indian. Mm. I miss Ambien. I miss Ambien so much. 
<laughs> when I when I when I was playing in Worcester, where I was in Ohio, we had uh, when you're in the juniors or like the the minors, you have um team doctors, uh -huh. and I told my team doctor in Worcester, I was like, listen, I my problem is you know we do workouts like we have practice Monday through Friday, we have practices in the mornings, and I was like, I can't go to sleep at night, and I was like to like actually be able like enter you know energized to like go to practice then to the gym and then blah blah like every day of the week he would give me ambient um not prescribed he'd give me like the samples mm -hmm. and they were amazing i would i would take one at say 10 we we'd be playing like nhl on the xbox yeah. i'd take one at 10 10 30 i'd lay down me and my my roommate we would Turn on like Scrubs. We watch Scrubs all no, the time. No, Scrubs is amazing. Yeah, scrubs is great. Scrubs. But, Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dr. Cox is my hero. Oh, yeah. That like house. But um, so, but I would take it, I would go to sleep, be asleep before 11, and I would wake up at like quarter to six in the morning. Not just awake, I'd wake up energized. I'm like, let's go to the fucking gym. I'm like, let's go do yeah. stuff. But nowadays, they don't, not. Nah. They don't like they consider it an addictive substance. Well, it is. They oh, it don't. Is. Well, they don't give it yeah. to people. Well, ambience, uh like apparently, if you fight the urge to go to sleep, <laughs> it gets crazy. It does get crazy. <laughs> Damn. Like you're just zonked out. No, no, no. no. You kind of little tr like a all right. Small so or... not really here, but you see how like you see the blotches of paint on yeah. the ceiling. So uh, one time. I gave, uh, his name was Donovan, Nick Donovan, we, we call him Dono, um, yeah. they call me Bundy, that's where that Bundy joke came okay. from, and we were in a bedroom together, like, you know, we, yeah, it was, fucking. no, and, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it was apartments, like, four players to an apartment, is, like, yeah. how they put us in, and um, it just so happened, he loved scrubs, I love scrubs, so it was, like, perfect, worked out. One time, I let him have an Ambien with me, and we fought it. And we had like a beer, like a couple beers, and we fought it. And you stay up, and you get tripped, like tripped out. So we, our ceiling had those, like you know how the ceilings have like the, uh, looks like you took the brush, mm -hmm. and like the, swirls, they had the swirls. Yeah. So we were sitting there watching Scrubs on our tiny little, uh, well, the TV's about the size of your Mac there. Yeah. And we're sitting there watching. I'm looking up. The whole thing looks like a hurricane. Like it's all swirling. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, dude. I was like, Don, you see this? And he was like, yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But no, other than that, that stuff was the only time I've ever taken something, slept great, woke up, and was ready to go. Yeah. Well, you know, I was uh, going to end this, but DJ kind of stepped out. Yeah. But, Donnie, how do you feel being on, like, the longest podcast we've had? Two hours. That's, yeah. That's one of the longest ones. I, to I'm be fair, there are two guests. Yeah, and I thought, well... So it's a double treble episode. Yeah, and I thought we were having a really good conversation. So yeah. why stop anything short when we were fucking just kind of flying through it and then doing our thing? Yeah, I hope it was a step on was I talked a lot. No, dude, that's <laughs> the point. That's why I'm putting you... I get tired of talking all the time. They get tired of always hearing our story. So that's yeah. why... I'm, that's exactly. why we invite people one. on. I'm very interested to see if anybody listens about. Uh, you know, dude, dude no. <laughs> the girlfriends have that. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I doubt, I doubt they'll listen. No, not them. But because I've talked about, know. I've talked about <laughs> other girlfriends and stuff too. It's trying to get me in trouble, and they've never listened. But like, you'll be surprised. Uh, you know, you'll be surprised. Usually, the ones when we actually have other people, real big successes, uh, especially when we talk about like news and things like that. Usually the ones that kind of been falling down actually have been like uh, when Drew was moving, we've been just trying to get stuff out. And that was a little hard just because like moving, trying to connect and then trying to get this done. And it's just Ooh. like life's all happening at once and just trying to throw everything together. Yeah. Gets real kind of real busy. I but... mean, us getting a new studio and things like that. That, that was. Oh, yeah. And fiddling with the mic. How long did we fiddle oh, with yeah. this mic? I like the sound of this place is no, thanks, man. Yeah, we're we're doing what we can. Eventually, a lot of these, like right now, we just have uh, like blankets up to dampen sound, and eventually, we're gonna get it all actually done with foam. The and, foam things. Yeah, and actually make it look professional. And we got new lights today up there that are blinding us, but make us look nice. Those things are amazing. Like those literally look like like the Iron Man things. Yeah, in, like Endgame when you like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but 
Dude, before we get off of here and we're all done, is there anything anything important you want to say to the people? Any last words? Hey, any plugs? Sense, any plugs, anything like that? Any way to find you? Do you want people to know who you are? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can find me. My name's Donnie Kalachi. You guys can follow me on Instagram. I think it's just DonnieK67. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to plug right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm still, still working on my memoirs. So. Yeah, and you might, you might be on one of my... Uh, one of our takeout episodes, so like, yeah, keep a watch out yeah. for that. Donnie might be on board. It took us forever to get him here, but he really likes him. I can tell. Oh, enjoy it. <laughs> See last the spotlight. DJ, any last, uh, any last words for the people? Any parting words? Anything to plug? Nothing to plug. Nothing to plug. Happy birthday, Noah. Happy, Happy birthday, Noah. Yes. yes, he's the one. It's cool having kids getting older. <laughs> so, Drew, any last words? Nope. Okay, uh, I do have some last words. After everything we talked about, everything we joked about, football and all that, I, I just want to say to the people out there, don't be scared you're trying to live. Don't let people scare you. Don't let you scare yourself. Try it. You never know what you're going to get into. You never know what those people might be later on. In life. One of the best things about bowling was I got to meet even the person who got me my dog now. It, it creates so much connection. So... Don't be scared. Go out there. We all told you about our regrets. I mean, yeah, we've had our fun and we've done our stuff, but we told you what we regretted. So, if anyone out there, just just try. Just try. I don't care if it's too late. You're 40 something years old and I've got something to do. Go join the league somewhere. Drew? Yeah. You ready to go? Absolutely. We're on Anchor, Spotify, and Apple Podcast at the Lunch Table PBJ. That's probably how you're listening to us right now, so keep doing that. It's very important, and, you know, we love to see those numbers go up. We love to see that you guys like what we're doing, and you're interested. So keep doing it. Let us know you like it. That's awesome. Uh, we're on Twitter at Lunch Table PBJ. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's <laughs> We're on TikTok and Instagram at, and Facebook at the Lunch Table PBJ. Uh, we do a lot of cool things up there, uh, some extra behind-the-scenes videos, and you can always stay updated on uh, the Twitter and the Facebook as well, uh, including our fan page, The Munchies. Uh, that's on Facebook. You can also look on there. Uh, you know, start something. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Tell us if you want us to change anything. Tell us if you... Want DJ back or don't want Donnie back or How whatever do you feel. Yeah, just tell us somehow or a way or another. Uh, and lastly, we're at Patreon at the Lunch Table PBJ. If you want to be that person that gives a little bit extra, like Nick Jones, Nick Jones, Nick Jones. Yeah. Uh, right now it's a dollar a month, uh, and that's just to kind of help us get everything set up. Uh, we're gonna have some stretch goals coming here in the future. I know we've been promising that for a while, but we're actually gonna make it happen here real soon. Yeah. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Okay, that's on your plug. Absolutely. Well, then I, uh, DJ, thank you for stopping. Thanks for being here, Donnie. I'm happy we finally got you on here. Right. Thanks, buddy. It's always fun, Drew. Yeah. As always, thanks for being you, man. You're always so fun. Uh, for everyone else, thanks for stopping. It's getting a lot more fun around here. We love you. Love, 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 peace. See ya.